We have an exciting day for you today. We have Rocket League. And we have a ton of games for you. We've got eight games for you, four hours of content. It's going to be amazing. We have some of the best players in the country here just to try out to make the Oakland University Varsity Rocket League team the first one. And in fact, the first Division I school in Michigan to have a varsity esports team. So it's a big deal. I'm really excited to get these players into the matches. You know, the first two days we had League of Legends and that went really well. We had really talented players there as well. But I'll tell you what, there's something about Rocket League that's just a little bit different. There's some innate skill in jumping off the ceiling to hit the ball and knock it into the net. The ceiling shots are amazing, and that's what I'm excited for. Hopefully, you get some of those or some incredible dribbles. You know what? You guys show me what you've got in store. We're all just hanging on by the side of our seats ready to go. So what I'm going to do now, I'll just talk to you super quick about how the day is going to run out. We've got two blocks of content, like I said four hours so from now until 9 p.m <clears throat> we've got two different blocks so we'll have the players play those first four matches which should take about two hours and then we'll jumble up the teams we'll change them around and then we'll go for another four matches two hours so be excited get ready for that another thing to be excited about at oakland esports we have some incredible partnerships some incredible sponsors and i just want to mention very quickly because the crowd is getting anxious i can I can hear him back there. Crowd, crowd's getting pretty anxious. They want to get into the matches, and so do I. But I just want to talk really quickly about my friends over there at Velocilinks down there in that corner. Now, you can see them. Velocilinks, local company in Auburn Hills. They make fantastic products, and they're relatively new. So you may not have had a chance to try them out, but now is a fantastic time to try them out. You can check them out at Velocilinks.com. Or if you want free, a chance to win free Velocilinks gear, keyboards headset mice they look pretty sweet too you should check out down below there's a vx symbol down below uh, in the images you can click that that'll take you right to our giveaway now we've got a ton of people who already entered but if you haven't entered then you're definitely missing out on a chance to win some amazing products and we're not just talking about one keyboard here one headset there we've got five prizes total a few complete sets for you it's going to be amazing Enter the tryout, do everything you can to get as many entries in there. I know I have because I want to win a set too. <laughs> but uh, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to throw it over. Um, we're going to take a few minutes just to get everything set up. And then we'll pass it off to our casters and get right into the first matches. Thank you so much for being patient. Thank you so much for being here. Get ready for some action. All right, everybody. Welcome to the Oakland University Rocket League tryouts. The way this well, I should it. Sorry, I sh we should probably introduce ourselves first. I am Powder, and I am joined here by yeah. Benzing. We're casters over at Aquinas. So if you've ever checked out any of those streams, uh, we should be familiar voices for you guys. Uh, if not, we're gonna be bringing some good content, good analysis. Yep. And the way this will work is there are two yes two blocks in this that will be played tonight. From about well when this starts to maybe seven ish or a little after it'll be block one and then when we switch over to block two immediately after the teams will switch up so the teams you see in these first games will not be the same as later on tonight right and even though they won't be the same teams all of the same players will be playing within these blocks so they all get a chance to mix up see how their chemistry works out between each other see if any of them uh do better or worse with each other and it's just a really good format for tryouts in my opinion and i've heard that there are a lot of really really high level players trying out for this so it's going to be a good game to watch as well it's not just going to be you know throwing on some random twitch channel this is definitely going to be content you want to stick around for for sure No camera shake line. off. Yes. <laughs> First thing you must do in Rocket League, turn that camera shake off. <laughs> Your pal Mal, he's going to be taking it off, looking for a solo play. Doesn't really have the boost to pass it off the backboard for anyone to be there, but it's going to be Jay a little bit late on the challenge here. Now oh, Ashawk over towards Baja. It's down in front now. Shot taken. It's just a little bit wide. It'll roll up the wall. 
Yeah, Jay was melting. really on the scramble there, trying to get back for the save. Had it just been a little bit, a few more meters to the right, it was definitely an open net for Blue to take. Double commit on Orange, but it's popped up for Jay. He'll Jay. push it downfield. Didn't look like he was hearing any callouts from his team as if they were uh, right or left for that pass. Still looking like a lot of solo plays going on. Not too sure how long any of these players have been playing with each other, so it could it could be that everyone's trying to get themselves figured out in the chemistry. Tryouts are a very difficult thing to do and be a part of. It's a very stressful time. I mean, you've potentially got part of your college career on the line here. Right, now that'll be sent down as Baja. He'll kick it off the wall into the corner. You have how Mal trying to come up for a shot, but Pergo beats him to it. Lou looking like they're winning all of the 50s out here. A slight whiff, but Baja making quick work of it. Can't put it in the net, and your pal Mal just bailing him out. That'll roll in as a bump comes out. Your pal Mal will pass it up. Demo. Shot taken from Dry. It's too high, and Jay has to race back for boost. S Hawk maybe acting like he doesn't have any boost to perhaps mind trick uh, your pal Mal there. But it's going to be really helpful as they're in the defensive half here. Going to lead to a little bit of a clear from Baja, but it's easily picked back up by your pal Mal, just trying to get as many touches on the ball as he can right here. Ergo wins that challenge, bumps his own teammate out of the way, and now Jay isn't actually able to clear it out as Baja races in for that, but your pal Mal, Ergo with a whiff. But S Hawk there to try to keep the pressure on, Dry sending it towards the goal to be a little bit wide, but Baja will clean that up anyway. I, I'm gonna say, I think the first 10 seconds of this match, before the whole bot disconnection and all that, there was definitely a lot more chemistry between these people. It, it definitely seems like they're making a lot of midfield and defensive plays. Nothing really connecting out of these guys just quite yet. Because as you see, we're already halfway through game one here. Not a single score for either team yet. Jay takes a good challenge, sends it to the other side. Virgo will take that up the wall. Challenge by Dry, who wins it. That'll go down to Jay. Off the back wall. Shooting it wide in an accidental own goal from Baja. I don't know if he read that as it was going to be a shot closer on net, but that was a pre-flip that he did not want to have there. Baja, not wrong, man. Definitely. <laughs> First game of the goal. But... Sorry, bud, that's gonna be the wrong net. It's going to be counting against you. Challenge taken by your pal Mal, sends it into the corner, does not beat Baja to it. That'll go down for Dry. Dry looking for a solo play here. Not able to get underneath the ball for a flipper set anything. Not not even close enough for an air dribble. It's just Orange. easily gonna be converted into a clear. All the way down now, Jay looking for a touch to get it out front, not able to, but it's cleared out. Demo now is Jay is able to get it up and over Baja. S Hawk. Really good job of keeping that away. A lot of blue team members here really bunched up together. Looking a little bit panicked on defense. Kind of looking a little bit uncomfortable in the corners, yet they still haven't really conceded a goal due to their positioning yet. But give enough time on Orange's offense. If you keep pumping up like that, you are going to be seeing the second goal come in from their side. Now Jay going for a solo play, maybe a double tap, not able to. And Virgo is able to kick that out of the way before it turns into a pass. Virgo, excellent touch, but it seems like he used a little bit too much boost there going for the clear. He had all the time and space to make a ground play out of that. Needed to assess the situation a little bit better. Shot taken, it's wide and dry. We'll kick that off the wall. Cleared out towards the corners. Baja, challenge taken, it's down in front. Jay taking a shot, top right corner and they get insurance with only 41 seconds left. That was just a very good challenge from Dry, and neither S-Hawk or Pergo was able to read the, uh, just read the bounce off the ceiling, resulting in Jay to prowl on that ball, sneak right in there, and just snipe that goal. Your pal Mal. Up and outs kicked out in front pass, but Jay with a very good clear sends it all the way to the other side. 30 seconds left for Blue to try to make a comeback. An excellent demo from Blue. 
Baja playing it off the wall. Didn't have anyone on his team there uh, up to receive the pass, though. It, this is definitely something that every team could be doing. You know, if you keep picking up these demo plays as soon as you're about to go on offense, clearing out a third man could be a huge move for you. Opening up all of that space gives you so much more potential to work with on the net. That will touch the ground and orange will take game one and I, I think we forgot to mention that in each individual match it will be a best of three situation so if orange takes this next game this match will end and we will move on to the second match of black one right all best of threes and whatnot i can't imagine with how many players are signed up for this if they did any format other than best of three if they did a best of five this could easily maybe go to 11 p.m that's that's quite a long time to be watching quite a long time to be casting and hopefully i don't know if the coaches are going to be in these uh calls with the players you know kind of going over what happened I i'm just mentioning that right now as i'm not seeing that they are readied up yet uh on the on the game hangry just readied up oakland esports you know maybe it's they heard me <laughs> maybe they were talking i don't know The surprising thing, though, uh, at Game 1, looking back at the scoreboard, it was pretty even within uh, shots between Orange and Blue. So it, it really will boil down to who can keep their composure on defense, because both teams had an equal amount of time on the offensive push, it seemed. It was just the slightest mistakes, misreads, that had resulted in goals. Ergo will kill that as Mal tries to take a challenge. It'll go to the opposite corner, dry. Take it up and send it out for Jay. Ergo will just have to send that into his own corner. Dry Orange back up now. Making... Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> it's good. <laughs> now Jay up looking for a solo play, but Baja is able to make a stop on that. Dry. Now take it up himself up off the ceiling maybe down for pal to take it or pal mal to take a shot not able to it's definitely looking like orange team is feeling themselves coming out with the with the game one win they're making a lot more passes here even if they, ooh, you just cannot whiff that one right. that's gonna be your pal mal just playing it a little bit high off the wall s hawk had a little bit too much pressure probably going on in his own mind there letting that one sneak past him but it is as i was saying orange team they're making a lot of these passes off the wall i i personally like seeing passes from infield but i mean if you get a pass off the wall and ever sorts in a goal it's a good play and yeah, a huge play comes bump, out and it absolutely. turns into a pass to baja who puts it in the net I kind of bit my own tongue there when I saw it go <laughs> wide, but thankfully Baja was there. I didn't I didn't see him coming up uh, behind because I thought it was just going to be S-Hawk racing Jay there, and Jay clearly had the better position to be taking the 50. All tied up now as Pell Mal sends it up off the corner, dry back down. No one on his team is there for it, though, as it'll go all the way back. Jay looking for a catch, paps it away, but is able to maintain all the pressure here. Blue team care really putting it close to their net before and now all clumped up working all together to make that save there. Pal Mal will turn around on that, send it out towards the net. Again, all three players on blue are bunched up in the goal, but they're not getting punished for it yet as Pergo will dribble that out, stopped by Jay. Jay making a quick turn on that, doesn't look for the pass, instead looks for the double touch just a little bit off from it. Now we'll get a demo on Pergo as Orange tries to take it back, but Baja is there to send it to midfield. Jay will take a shot, bump play. But Pergo is still able to make the stop. Pergo definitely saw that man coming in hot, knowing that a bump was going to happen. He was ready to pull the trigger on the jump just to get that save. And now another whiff coming out on the offensive side. Just Pretty don't want to be seeing any of those. Jay will try to take that up. Baja trying to get in his way, and he's able to make a pass mid, but dry. 
is the one that wins that race. Now Palmel coming up after it realizes he's not gonna be able to take a shot in time, so he peels off. Jay, thankfully, you know, even though he didn't go up the wall to try to beat uh, whoever that was going up for the ball, that was some pretty fast aerial speed to be able to win the challenge there. It was a really good beat. However, it seems like a lot of these 50s, even if they're won or lost, it's not resulting in the goal. It's just... I, I still think it's only boiling down to these simple mistakes that are resulting in goals. It's not necessarily beautiful team plays, except for here... Pal Mal with an amazing amount of placement, completely threading the needle with that read. Try off the corner, and like Benzing said, just perfectly through the needle. And Orange, with just under two minutes left, goes goes up two, two to one. Yeah, they have a lot of time here. If they want to try playing the keep away strategy, they definitely want to be looking for an insurance goal here. They, de they want to make the score 3-1. And that'll put them in a big zone of comfort. And hopefully it'll cool down their comms or whatever they need to even bring up the pace even more. Jay will send that all the way to the other side. Baja looking for a touch is able to get it. Palmel will be there to send that to midfield. Dry with little boost is able to get up enough to make the challenge. S-Hawk just seems to be throwing the ball away, not keeping too much possession there. But thankfully Baja staying in the midfield was able to get a touch and now it's just thrown completely black or completely back to the blue side here jay's able to get a touch now dry looking for a shot not able to get it though demo Burgo comes out on Virgo, which will allow jay to keep the pressure on so dry towards mid 50 and that pass the the passing lane Blue team saw it, but so did Jay, and he was able to cut it off a lot faster than Seahawk or Baja were able to turn for it, sneaking it all the way into the right post. That is exactly the insurance they wanted, with still killing enough time to look like they're going to be securing game two here. Try to go down as is... Seahawk. Not sure if he got a touch on that shot taken, but Virgo is able to turn on it in time. Jay with a shot. It's going to be wide. It was kind of an awkward position for S-Hawk, too. It definitely looked like he should have been able to walk away from that situation with a dribble, but somehow the ball just winded up too far in front of him. Posted up on the wall, not really able to do much with that. Now a team bump coming in as they're panicking, knowing that they got to make a score soon, or it's definitely going to be the series over for them. Uh, how we'll just push that to the wall pass to s hawk who's gonna take it up still a chance now if they can get it in right now but jay will be there to stop that five seconds left and that'll if be they don't get this backboard read it's definitely oh your pal mal with the pre-flip keeping it up jay's trying to keep it up too you know this could be a very intense moment if they ever needed to rise to the moment right now is the time s hawk playing it up it's gonna be dry Continuing to keep it up, surprisingly not killing the ball, showing a lot of respect for the people here. Baja on target, but not high enough. And that is going to be the series win to your players on orange, your pal Mal, Jay, and Dry. All of them putting in a valiant effort here on the orange team. Jay, the amazing striker. 50% of his shots going in, but your pal Mal, he was absolutely peppering the net. Five shots on goal. And that's not to be looked away at from blue team losing. They had a, a tremendous amount of saves within that game too, racking up their points for sure. So I'm not sure when we switch over to the new games in the blocks, if we're going to be remaining in this lobby, if we have to back out, or if they're just going to be getting new players in here. That that was definitely a, a close match in my mind. It definitely was. It, even though Orange took it 2-0, it's not like Blue just kind of gave in and fell over. It was very, very tough fought. Like you, like you said, they had a ton of saves, especially in Game 2. Right, I think if you were to bring that kind of game into a best of five or best of series or best of seven series, I really don't think we would have seen a sweep within there. 
blue team was definitely looking like they were getting a lot more knowledge about each other's play style and starting to work a little bit more with each other. And we're still going to be seeing Dry, J3, and uh, Your Pal Mal playing within this series. New opponents, however, only seeing Raz join in so far. We also got Tissonic Boom joining in, and there should be one more man joining their team. So it's J cubed. I knew it would be J cubed. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I I wanted to stick with J because I, I didn't want to be wrong, maybe saying that it was like J3, but I had a feeling it would be J cubed. We will be calling him J cubed from now on throughout these series. If you, have ever checked... Jay. <laughs> <laughs> if you have ever checked out Benzing and I with Aquinas, you will know that we never know how to pronounce names. We will always guess wrong, so that's why we just go with the safe bet. And if somebody corrects us, then we will say the new one. It would be it would it would be a true blessing if all these players that we're coming up against, like I Everyone who's not with on the or within the Aquinas team for us, if they could just give us a little rundown of how to pronounce these things. Because I try to show as much respect as I can getting these names right. Right. But even with that, I sometimes get it wrong. Still waiting on the third player of Team 3 to hop in here. Hey, coach, pull me in. I'll play. I'm playing cast at the same time. I don't know if I'd stand against these guys. Because I do know that there are a few people here that are around 1700. Everyone else tends to be around the C3 GC rank within these tryouts. I've heard a lot of people C2 are getting turned away. And, I mean, as the, uh, as the coach was saying before, uh, Oakland, a Div 1 team or a Div 1 school... They definitely want to be building up a very, very strong roster. You know, maybe the third man, maybe the man's took a nap. You know, it does sound like a good time for a nap. We had a lot of rain over here on the, uh, on the west side of the state. Not sure about you guys on the yeah. east side, but it was... It was real gloomy and windy today. Perfect nap weather. Nineteen hundred. I'm rating. I I'm definitely interest interested. Uh, whenever the time does come, if they uh, if J J Cube and Rez will be on a team together within this. I know they're not for block one. I do have the information for block two and three and four but i'm not able to quite look at that just yet chat finally we do have raymond coming on in so we can finally get this game started we'll see how this goes with orange they have they have had their warm-up already they've already gotten to get to know each other while blue maybe they were warming up together but haven't had maybe a game experience like this in a tryout situation so we'll see how that goes and already a little bit of whiffs coming out there. JQ not able to get the read off the backboard. Your pal Mal definitely looking a little bit stressed on the offensive push. Recognizing he didn't have the boost for that, but J JQ had enough to go up and sneak it right past the guy defending on the goal line here. Excellent passing play coming out from each other. Nothing Sonic Boom can do on that. He's too far up. All he can try to do is backflip like he did, but it's just too pat or too far behind him. 
be yeah, able to get it and orange goes up. It definitely just uh, boils down to your positioning on defense. That's like also <laughs> another rule one within Rocket League. When you're rotating into defense, you gotta be near that far post. It's gonna give you a lot more time and space to run across the goal line if you need to be making a save like that. Now Raymond over to Roz as a try takes, tries to take a shot, it was a little bit high, but it's pushed out of the way. Jay now. That's to Sonic Boom. We'll get that out, but dry. They're gonna make a stop and your pal Mal not able to get a touch on it. JQ making a huge cut there, but Raymond, he's going to be able to challenge that fast enough to prevent any more damage on the scoreboard. But Dry going on up, hitting that as top shelf as it gets. Finds a wide open net. Both Raymond and Sonic Boom are right underneath each other. Nobody in net, and Dry absolutely takes advantage of that. Yeah, that's just really good game sense there. Seeing that the ball wasn't going to bounce from the ground off the corner, but instead roll up and out. Your pal Mal maybe actually gets a touch on that, just barely into the corner as JQ will send it to Dry, who will redirect it downfield, but it's directly at Raymond. Your pal Mal tries to take a shot, not able to as it rolls up the wall. Dry going to race for this. He's passing it out mid. JQ not upfield far enough to, to receive that pass. However, playing it safe here. And to Sonic Boom, not really taking his time there to score that one up in the top shelf. Now a pass to JQ, who sends it all the way downfield, little high and wide, and Ra is not sure if he got a touch on that, but either way. Yeah, either way, even though that wasn't in, you guys gotta admit, that was an absolute clanger of a shot. Had that hit the top left skis, oof, that would have been sweet. A JQ, we get it by Raz, now able to beat Sonic Boom, who sends it up, maybe a pass down, as no, nobody's there. Or pal Mal looks like he's going to be playing the ball to himself instead blocked and denied right off the wall JQ making a pass downfield but your pal Mal he's going to be deciding to turn on it in the midfield here Roz will take a shot but immediately stopped by your pal Mal now dry up we'll send it to the opposite corner no boost to work with tries to get another touch as JQ will pass it out but Roz Able to stop that. Pass to Raymond. Now over to Sonic Boom looking for another touch. Passed on to Raz. Team play. And Jay Cube able to make the stop. Almost a beautiful team play coming out from Blue. Yeah, had I not known Jay Cube to rank, rank right there and knowing Raz or Raz, um, that shot, it, it would have been really hard for a lot of other people to go and save that. But Jay Cube definitely stepping up, showing that he does deserve the rank that he has right now. It'll be sent up as Raymond's just got to go back for boost. Sonic Boom with an awkward touch, but Dry being able to read that bounce. Unable to get a second one, but I'm going to hold my words real quick as he's kind of pinching it off the ground. Uh, that'll be kicked down as Sonic Boom will come after it. Wins the challenge, so it's sent over, but nobody from Blue there. So JQ will take that, flick it over Raymond. Raz passes it, but it's only to Dry who's going to take a shot. A little too soft and a bump doesn't come out in time. Yeah. Dry, not able to get a touch on that. J Cube is able to get it into the corner though before he gets demoed and it's gonna roll into the net. I couldn't see it from my perspective, <laughs> but nobody is able to get to that in time. Yeah, just a double commit on that clear there, but J Cube, speedy boy quick, just beating him to the challenge, allowing that to just creep on in there. Now Orange up 3-0. Kickoff is pinched down. Raz gonna take a shot. Gonna be a little bit wide into Sonic Boom. Not able to get the rebound on that. JQ they now. Needed, they definitely needed to pick up the goal there. As looking at the clock, looking at the scoreboard. Blue team, they really just need to get their foot in the door. They need to prevent any more damage happening. And this could be their opportunity with an open net. Overcommit on Orange. All three men were up right next to the goal. It's not completely out of the situation here. Still a little bit rough seeing that double commit on blue, but they did know all of orange was up on their half. They had a completely open net to shoot on. That's just something you could work out a little bit more with communication. That's a skill it takes time to build with your teammates here. The Sonic Boom's able to get enough of that, but push doesn't come out in time as your pal Mel's able to make a pass, but nobody on orange. 
was there to receive it. J-Cube's gonna take this off the wall, look for a shot coming out. Sonic Boom's able to get a touch, but J-Cube challenges him. Raz looking for the read off the wall, trying to recover. He's gonna be sending himself upfield. Could have been in a position to be cherry picking up there, but on, on his recovery, just too low on boost. Now with 18 seconds left, Orange still on offense. Blue needs to get two goals. And at this rate, it doesn't look like it's going to happen as J-Cubed will send that off the wall. Pass to Dry is able to get it by, but with five seconds left, Orange will be taking game one of this series. Yeah, J-Cube definitely looks like he's feeling himself now. He knew he had the comfortable win here, you know, just going for a couple of spins, a couple of air rolls. Would have been a nutty shot to hit. Five shots each coming out from J-Cube and Dry. And Raymond, Raymond on blue. With yeah, really saves. stepping up. Doing all that he can to keep his team within it. And I'm going to be honest, it's not surprising to see Orange Team take it so well here, take the win by a two-goal lead, considering that they had just come off a win streak. I don't know if these guys, if Raymond to Sonic Boom and Raz, if they had been playing outside of there, you know, uh, trying to get a feel for each other. Hopefully, uh, this one game will be enough for them to feel a little bit warmed up. And going into game two, potentially, we could see closer game all right and with that we are going to be starting up game two here you know with epic taking over the psionics team really would have loved to see them put a little bit more money into their server maintenance and server health here right only a few matches in and it went down as sonic boom actually almost had a chance there i mean maybe that's enough time too to give blue team a little bit of a breather help them uh recollect themselves you know come up with a little bit of a game plan as to how they're going to take it down here and that's going to be an excellent pass and shot from the sonic boom but right off the post that was a perfectly set up play now raymond that's with a shot raymond. not able to make the stop that time your pal now just now. yeah he was coming down for last first touch Dry will kick that up off the wall, but Raz gonna be there to send it all the way down. J Cube able to make a touch on it. It's a sonic boom will pass it back. Nobody there though, and now J Cube will send it, but Raymond. Raymond staying strong as the last man back here. Here enough, two people go up on orange. They are gonna know it's another mistake, but Raymond accidentally bellying. I'm gonna call that a keen stomp. Accidentally keen stomping the ball, <laughs> unable to result in a goal here. To Sonic Boom will accidentally Ooh. back pass it into his own net, and J Cube will get credit for that. Yeah, and as quickly as that, they're gonna be tying up the game here. Nothing to worry about though if you are the blue team. It's just a simple mistake, easy to recover from. That'll be up as to Sonic Boom will look for it. Get a soft pinch off the wall as your pal Mal will now take it. Push it past Raymond, but Raz is going to be right there to pinch it down. Raymond, good pass off the wall. Raz coming in for a shot, not able to take it as it's pushed out of the way by Orange. I mean, he had the angle set up for it. He rolled his car perfectly. That was going to be on net. But J-Cube being fast the block there. I'm pretty sure it was J-Cube who went up for it anyways. Sonic Boom will be there, but try. Now back in. Keep try doesn't up. really get a touch on it, but your pal Mal will as Goes up towards Raz. JQ. No. Going for a solo play, gets another touch to pass it to dry, but it's kicked out of the way. Right, it's not getting a second touch on that. It's going to result in more offensive pressure from the orange team here. They just need to get a big clear just like this one into Sonic. Boom! Sneaking it right in front of the nose of your pal Mal. Getting that right on in there. These are the passing plays I was talking about back in Series 1 that we want to be seeing. These are the infield passes, not the wall and corner and ceiling passes. Blue takes the lead again. Now Raymond 
We'll send it all the way down. J Cube waiting for it. Dry, he's going to be playing it out to the side. Maybe looking for a pass here. No, he's going to be putting too much power on that ball, losing control of the possession. Sonic Boom taking his time here as it's going to be Raymond coming out from the back line up for the challenge. Now to Sonic Boom taking another aerial challenge here. Ross taking a shot. May have been a little bit wide, but J-Cubed able to kick it off the back wall as your pal Mal drive by, right by it. Team Bump comes out. Not punished for it, though, as it'll be down, and your pal Mal will try to... I thought he was going to take a shot, but he tried to pass it to dry. Didn't quite work out. Now to Sonic Boom. Yeah, no, that was a perfect passing opportunity. I'm sure they heard the call outs. Hey, man, I'm up left. Just send it here. Maybe not recognizing the boost that he had in the tank, but it does not matter because Dry will be picking up the second goal here. Another perfect passing play. Your pal Mal just right off the backboard perfectly to Dry into the net, and we are tied again. Yeah, and I think that's due to... Uh... Well, Orange really did there. It seems like they were putting a lot of pressure on the outside of the net, trying to draw out the blue team to make them creep on out to try to get a clear. Instead, while they maintained the pressure, getting a pass right off the backboard, it was just everything they needed within that situation. Down shaking out. Sonic Boom will take a shot, but your pal Mel will easily put that aside. We'll go for another touch. Is able to send it out, but Raymond going up for a JQ beats him to it. Raz is able to hit that before it hits the back wall. Sonic Boom will clear it out. And with how high that ball was lofted, very surprised not to see anyone on Orange upfield enough to be capitalizing on that. Now Dry, he's going to be looking for a shot himself. Oh. Actually, a pass to J-Cube. Crossbar down and in here. I, the whole time he was in the air, I'm like, is he going to be passing? Is he going to be shooting? He doesn't have a lot to work with. But J-Cube... <laughs> the, the gumption of this guy to go up for a ball that close to the net that that takes a lot of you know confidence to do jq back down is raymond we'll go up for a second touch on it gets Ooh. it by but jake cube comes out just in time that'll be pinched all the way down we sent off the wall to sonic boom will clear that out such a big brain play there faking it putting it right on the shot but it's high Dry was able to kick that out of the way. Roz back in, 50 seconds left, down by one, trying to keep themselves alive in this series. But now JQ is actually beaten by Raymond, and that will be sent. Yeah, I mean, if, if the blue team does not take a goal here, if they do not bring it to overtime, it is going to be the second series here that the orange team has pulled out a sweep. 30 seconds left, and they have offense right now, Raymond. Get on that, into the corner, look for a second touch on it, D double commit. It's just Sonic Boom went for that as well. Yeah, that double commit was going to make it way too dangerous for Roz to come on up and try to keep the pressure on. Your pal Mal will kick that off the wall. Blue's got to get it done now, five seconds left. Definitely just a little bit of a panic whiff. They recognize how little time they have left and how much they need this one goal here. Very little boost, and they're not able to get to it. And Orange, like Benzing said, has swept both series in a row. And yeah, definitely a GG's. I'm starting to wonder if it's like one of those situations that you've seen before. <laughs> Within private games, it's like only one team color is able to win. Because if we jump into the next series and the Orange team takes it no matter who they are, I'm going to start believing that it's Orange's team to win. <laughs> Orange's games to take no matter who the players are on there. And in this third match, we will be seeing the same blue team again, and we will see the other team from match one. Also, just now noticing the amount of shots that came out from the blue side here, totaling in at 12 shots. Really surprised to see with how much offensive pressure they had that they weren't able to take game two. So, perhaps here in game three, it's going to be good. It's going to be good news for them. My bad on forgetting to ready up there. <laughs> but I mean, we got Baja here, we got Raz. So yeah, we're going to be seeing the team one from the last, either team one or team two, whatever they're titled. They know who they are.
So yeah, it's gonna be Baja coming back here. Who else was with it? Finally getting all the players back in here. Hopefully that little break, we had some time to meditate, reflect on our days today. Take a little time to cool down. Maybe I should pick up a radio career. Smooth jazz. I don't think I got the voice for it though. But yeah, we're just out here vibing. Vibing to the tryouts. like we're getting the players into the match as they figure out what teams they're on. <laughs> and we will hop into the third match of block one. Yeah, definitely looking like everyone's going to be on the right team here. Both of these teams here, one of them is going to be picking up their first game win and series win today. To Sonic Moon will kick that down at the lower left corner, but stopped by Pergo. As he'll get a touch on that, maybe look for a second. Feathering his boost to be able to get to it. Not quite enough. And S Hawk, surprisingly, not getting beat to that ball, instead taking the 50 there to Sonic Boom. He's going to be passing it out mid, but Baja denying it right then and there. Double commit comes out. Baja hesitating a little bit, doesn't want to overcommit and leave a wide open net. Yeah, that would have been a great opportunity had they read the miss and the double commit. You know, just having one defender back there, an open backboard pass, easy goal to clean up. You should take those all day. Ergo will get a touch, send it off the back wall. It'll be killed at midfield as the challenge comes out from Baja and it's just sent. Virgo now off the back wall, Baja coming in for a shot, another double commit, this time on blue. And again, the offensive team isn't able to take advantage of it. Virgo looking for another touch, able to get it passed out. S-Hawk coming in, not able to take the shot in time. S-Hawk, though, I, if you could tell by the angle of his car, it was, he was coming in for a really smart play there. The way that he was leaning, looking to put it behind a defender he wasn't just looking at the net seeing it as one big target he was looking at a, a specific part of the net to be putting it in however just having the defender there and Roz ooh, looking to work some magic there looking for a double tap unable to quite put that one in 
Virgo now over to Baja will take a shot redirect, but Ra is able to stop that. Now oh, Blue will go on offense. Cam, that was an amazing pre-jump save there. Just a great read. I don't know if he was able to tell that Virgo was out of boost there, and that was the only option he had for his shot. Pass out from Sonic like Boom. Up. Off the back wall. Ra's not able to take the shot, but Raymond going up for his own touch. And it's just going to be barred down and out. Sonic Boom coming in. Ra's now going to take the shot, and that one is also wide. Man, when you throw your third man on there in an offensive position like Ross was doing, you just got to put that in. Thankfully, it was Raymond who was able to get back within the rotation. But if you have your third man commit for a shot like that and you don't put it in, that's an easy breakaway for the other team. Sonic Boom with a great save. Raymond's going to be bumped out of the way by somebody. And just so many bumps coming on in there. Everybody's scrambling. Very thirsty for the first goal of the game here as the clock has already ticked down three minutes. Sent all the way to the other corner. Pergo not really turning around on that, so Raz will send that as Pergo now to midfield. Raymond not able to get the power he wanted on it, and Baja is able to send that down, but Sonic Boom. Raz will kill that. To try and flick, but it stopped. Now Raymond taking the good 50 there that's i've i've been running the fennec lately and i've been noticing even though it's got the same hitbox oh, it's just it. sonic boom with an amazing aerial goal controlling his car to knock that in yeah whatever i was gonna say there it, it, it is not as important as noticing that shot from to sonic boom rolling himself upside down being able to perfectly angle it into the dangerous part of the net with tremendous amounts of speed on that shot now Raymond, maybe looking for a ceiling shot, is able to get a maybe another touch on it, but Ergo. Definitely would have been a dirty dunk there. Ergo will clear that out, but it's straight towards Raymond. Who just kicks it to Baja. Nice redirect from Pergo, and Raz will have to send that off the backboard to save it. He'll get another save here. Sending it straight down, Pergo definitely wanted to turn on that a little bit sooner, but nonetheless, it's going to remain on the offensive half here for the orange side. Hopefully, they're going to be able to tie the game up as we kick down to one minute left. They got to start working some magic here. Oh, it's a sonic boom, taking it upon himself to flick it over two men into the net. You know, it definitely takes a lot of skill to pull out some one strats here. In a 3v3 game, just dribbling and flicking two defenders, leaving them with broken axles, to say at the least. Blue with insurance now and just under a minute left. Raymond now looking for a second touch and maybe an own goal. Raz not able to come in in time. He yeah, is so close to seeing it go up to a 3-0 lead. We have not seen any of that yet, however, though. At least I'm pretty sure we have it. Maybe maybe in Series 1 we did. But all of these games have been so close together. No one's been truly stomped out or denied within these series yet. All three men are up for that ball for Orange. Raznow will send it down. Nobody on his team. Turning out to take a shot is Pergo. Get it over Raymond. It's another touch, but it's just killed for Raz. And with that, with eight seconds left... It's going to be Blue another flick this. of the top over and a double tap. An absolutely nutty play from Ross coming on in there. Flicks that it is... over one. And I then, mean, I... oh, oh my gosh. You guys have been dropping the pogs, but no, that is the exact moment where you need to be dropping the pogs. <laughs> that was an insane shot coming out there. That is going in the highlight reel for all of these tryouts. It has to will touch the ground and blue will take this game yeah a definitive win and with those last 30 seconds showing that they really did deserve that win there <laughs> i'm still a little bit starstruck seeing Ross pull that off 11 shots coming out from blue putting on the offense orange doing what they can with their six saves to stop them I want to see more of those plays coming out as we get deeper into these series, as people get more warmed up, as they get more comfortable with their teammates, because those are the plays you tune in to see. 
those are the kinds of guys you want on your team. As we're just waiting for everyone to ready on up here, we're just oh, going to take a little, <laughs> take a little bit of a look at the scoreboard. Yeah, blue definitely holding the pressure on them. so many shots on net. Hopping into, I believe this is just game two of this match, right? It is, yes. Game two, blue. Definitely Red. dominated the first, but it's not as if orange played bad. Blue just had all the offense going for him. And oh my, is that the most neutral kickoff you could <laughs> ever get in this game? They need to have people cheating up a little bit more on that. Raymond will send that to Sonic Boom, actually, as Roz tried to go up for it. Maybe now looking for another touch. Hesitates a little bit. S-Hawk trying to be a bully and block the ball here. Trying to make as much work as he can. Maneuvering the ball down the line oh. here. And Fargo with an insane read here. I I'm going to probably call that calculated. Maybe not. It was just a really good flip for him oh here. Oh my. What a way to start off game two here. See if that gets the momentum back for Orange, but to Sonic Boom now sending it towards the net, it'll be high, and Baja will kick it out. It's gonna be Raz Ross taking it a low shot and fast, way out of the line of Pergo and S Hawk here. Both men coming up on the back wall, not the best idea. You just gotta send someone to that near post there. like that we're tied back up sonic Another boom going in favor of here. here Roz will push that a little bit wide bump comes out Roz trying to pass it to Raymond a little bit of rule one but they end up falling out of it yeah they try to maneuver themselves out of there they definitely could have wound up in it but you know when you when you're in times like these like maybe in an actual game yeah go for it but when you're trying out for a team you want to show that you're here to win. Up off the walls, Virgo sends that back off the backboard, but Raz able to send it. I saw with a good redirect towards the net. Baja not able to take a shot in time. He's going to be playing it safe. Definitely should have left that ball for S Hawk. He would have been able to play it right off the backboard, and no one on blue would have been able to get there up in time. Instead, they're going to have to work their way back onto the offense. Both men miss there, now s -Hawk. Pinch it off the wall, Baja gets enough of a touch to keep it out of the way of blue. Now Pergo trying to take a shot and I think he'll find one. Look for a pass. Baja kicking it back. s -Hawk coming in for a shot, but Raz beats him to it. Now uh, Raz flicks it up. Peace. Baja sneaking in to, uh, to secure that save there. Now Raymond, he's going to be looking for a pass out mid, but it's going to be denied high off the ceiling from Baja. Sonic Boom taking a shot from far a ways away, not able to make it in. Now Virgo, yeah. just Raymond to beat, just powers it right by him and gets the goal. That pass out mid definitely needed to be communicated among his teammates. Raz too close to the wall, Raymond too far back, just letting Pergo have all of this space to work with. Orange, just before halftime, able to get the go ahead goal, but Raz taking an amazing dunk and almost puts it in. I mean, he did what he could there. He wasn't able to get the ball on top for a flick. The next best bet he really did have was that dunk. Just sadly a little bit too high to make it work. Aha, over towards the corner. Raymond will catch it. No one's able to get a touch, so it just keeps dribbling. Now S-Hawk back the other way, but it's just a Raymond. Her goes up for that. He'll push it to S-Hawk. Demo comes out, now a chance for Orange. S-Hawk probably got a flip off that, <laughs> off the way he landed on that ball too, but that's gonna be a useless reset if I ever oh, seen him in Roz. Beautiful pass play. Raymond over to Roz into the net. That had to have been calling out. Like, if Roz had put that on the backboard or the sidewall, I'm not sure 
I'm, I'm not sure that they could have done anything with that ball, but that was just absolutely perfect placement within the corner and an absolutely beautiful read coming on out. Now, S Hawk yes. with a powerful shot. Sonic Boom looking for a touch, is able to get it, goes all the way down. Raz looking for that, but it's touched by Orange. Now, Fergo send it up. Raymond not able to get a touch on it. Fergo trying to give his team a chance. Baja will come in. Raz just has to take that himself, but he's challenged by Baja. It looks like a feels back that came out from S Hawk, not able to take a shot on it. Raymond getting bailed out by Tasonic Boom there. It was a difficult read to really understand how the ball was going to be bouncing off that corner, but at this high level of play, that's one of the mechanics and one of the skills you need to have down is being able to read the ball no matter where it lands. It'll be pinched to the other corner as Raz kick that to midfield. Fergo coming up on it. Maybe going to look for a second touch. Not able to get it into Sonic Boom. Well, I'll dribble it out. Baja to beat. The Sonic Boom Trying going to dribble for it. it in and a pass oh. to Raz into the net. Yeah, it to was Sonic Boom wide. with the with a gorgeous pass. It was definitely wide there on the uh, on the air dribble. Raz definitely had to secure that goal there, but excellent team place coming out. I thought we were going to be seeing overtime here in game two, but it's definitely looking like blue team is going to be trying to take a sweep there. Now Raymond doing what he can. Maybe it passed to Sonic Boom, but he was out of control, not able to get back to it. Raymond passing it back for anyone, it's going to be Ross there, but Baja sneaking on in, getting his third save of the game. Need to be pulling out a little bit more, but I mean, defense isn't what wins you games. It's got to be Orange stepping up on the offense here. They got to be scoring more goals. Raz is going to back past that last 10 seconds. Orange needs this if they want to continue this series. But we may be in for another sweep as now in the final second shot taken in a last second goal will all but secure it for blue. Yeah, it is an absolute impossibility for Orange to take the game here. That is going to be a full on sweep for the blue team here. A beautiful pass, a beautiful doink, a beautiful shot. What more could you ask for there? Maybe a little bit of freestyling, maybe like a turtle flick, you know, let the ball get a little bit closer to the ground. But that's going to be GG's here for Series 3. Raz coming out with seven shots and able to make four of them, scoring all the goals for Blue. Yeah, that man is just an absolute beast on the field. Definitely someone to be looking for within these next series. With it... Throughout the rest of today and tomorrow, Roz is definitely someone you want to keep on your radar, it's looking like. And in the last match of Block 1, we will see the same matchup we had in the first game. Now both teams getting a chance to warm up. Maybe it'll go a little bit better. We saw a ton of whiffs in that match. Maybe nerves coming out and they were able to get those out. So we'll see if this goes much better in the final match here. Yeah, I would like to see if they like do take this kind of like a grudge match. Hopefully they can <laughs> take back their win. But if not... We're, we're definitely just here to see how these players are working with each other, who is able to create the opportunities. That's, that's definitely something you want to be looking at when you're picking up a roster, is who are the opportunity makers, who are the people who can secure the goals, and who are the people that are very knowledgeable with where is everybody on the, uh, on the field, where are your teammates, and who's really good at communicating all that kind of stuff. So it's really important that we do have people within these voice calls to see what their comms are. One of the biggest things you want to be doing here in Rocket League, like when you're going out for these passes, is you want to be saying what you're going to do. Don't say what you did. And hopefully if we see, if they hear a lot more of that, we're going to be seeing a lot more high scoring games. We'll hop into this. We'll see how this goes. 
The orange team is the team who took this in match one. We'll see if blue, who just came out with a very impressive sweep in the last match, we'll see if they have something to say about it. I mean, it's not the same blue necessarily because it was Baja, S-Hawk, and Pergo on orange. I, I'm, I'm pretty sure. Uh, I could be wrong. I don't know. I don't quite remember. All I know is that the team of Dry, J-Cubed, and your pal Mel were the ones that take this earlier. Right. So definitely going to be looking at J-Cubed a lot here as we saw him popping off in the earlier games. Definitely seeing what Baja, S-Hawk, and Pergo can S-Hawk will send that up. J-Cubed able to get a touch. Not quite what he wanted, though, and Dry not able to touch it either. Pergo with uh -huh. an actually really good boost steal there, too. Just picking up, picking it up right as it spawns. It's going to leave Mal a little bit starved here for the time being. J-Cubed will take that off the wall. He's going to look for another touch on it. Not able to get it, and Dry will send it off the backboard. Pass to Mal. Sending it up high and Dry, knocking it away from Pergo. And it's going to be a little bit of a back pass to J-Cubed here. Keeping it close to the wall. Not quite sure if that's going to be the best play. But I I almost held my tongue there. And this is looking like an awkward Ooh. ball, but dry. <laughs> Able to be the quick one on the triggers there. Jumping right up to put that in. Ergo doing what he can. Did get a touch on it, I could see. But unfortunately, just not able to get that out from his position. Yeah, when the ball is creeping that slowly in front of your net, it's a little bit of like a panic moment. Everyone tends to freeze just a little bit to process what just happened. And it's whoever has the quickest reaction time usually winds up getting the save or gets the goal. It'll go down in front as no one on blue is able to get a touch and Baja finally does before a shot can be taken. Dry. So I will keep it in. He saw the boost lane he wasn't going to be able to cut off, or I mean, he pass lane. He wasn't going to be able to cut off that passing lane. But thanks to the whiff, it was able, or Dry was able to keep it in. And that's just going to be J-Cube cleaning up on an open net. Great, just nobody back for blue and just wide open net. Easy goal, easiest you can get. And that's kind of like... In my opinion, that's like a risk reward type of play style when you got when you're on the defense sending someone to be upfield in case you do get a clear like that. I mean the risk is only having two people back. The reward is someone up there to clean on the open net and it just worked out perfectly for them. J cubed off the wall, but Baja will be there to send that all the way down. Dry. Doesn't have much time here as Baja's going to be racing the ball. It's going to be your pal Mal sending it out mid. But Pergo taking a soft shot easily blocked by J-Cubed here. Your pal Mal is able to get enough a touch on that. Now it's sent all the way down. Gets a uh, demo, but... <laughs> Dude, a demo with ball <laughs> cam on. I don't know if that was intentional or what. But it was definitely the right idea to be going for there. Now Pergo, hit that into the corner, pass dry, is not able to get it. J-Cubed, stances around the ball is Baja. He's not able to get a touch either. Now into the corner. J-Cubed taking that, able to get another touch, but he stopped by Baja. Pergo with an easy touch on it. He's just going to be lofting it. It's going to be an awkward position for Baja, but thankfully S-Hawk there to bail him out. Now, your pal Mal didn't even see Baja coming on up there. Going to be taking this down and around, but dry with a little bit of a whiff. Thankfully, your pal Mal is right there behind him. Dry pushes it down, but Pergo with a good clear out. They have a chance to go in the net. Your pal Mal actually just shoots that straight up. J-Cube misses it. Perfect bump, though, on Baja. He was, wasn't able to take the shot. Otherwise, that would have been in the net. And I think I got to stand up for these guys in chat. Even if you're thinking Champ 2 does hit a little bit different, you got to remember that these are tryouts. This is potentially your college future. This You're on the line for a scholarship here. 
your nerves are going to be high. You've got people in chat watching you. It's a lot more added pressure than just queuing comp. Solo queue or with friends. Collegiate Rocket League is a whole different beast than uh, than comp play or from RL6 mans. Now hesitation comes out. Baja pushes it a little bit wide. Shot not able to be made. s -Hawk taking a shot, but Dry stops that. 40 seconds left in blue, still looking for their first goal. Dry getting the read for mid, but accidentally getting in front of J-Cubed as he wasn't able to see exactly where he was. And a high shot coming in from your pal Mal. Ergo with a good touch, sends it down field. Dry will kick it to Baja, who tries to back pass it. Now off the corner, s going to take a shot, but he stopped. Now J-Cubed, only 13 seconds left. Just lofting it away. It's going to be causing Pergo to use a lot of his boost in Baja too far upfield, but looking for the demos. It's going to be impossible for Blue Team to take it here. J Cubed, Your Pal Mal, and Dry taking up their second series win of today. And with this win here, it is going to conclude the matches within Block One. We are now going to be see that, or we're now going to be seeing the teams mix up. New players oh. playing with each other. I believe that was only game one of this series, wasn't it? Or... Was it? I believe so, because everybody's readying up. Ha! <laughs> oh my! Getting a little ahead oh. of ourselves, but... I've been talking for so long! Should be seeing at least <laughs> one more match here. Or at least one more game, I should say. Maybe in my mind it was just that they were able to... not concede any goals. I thought they were just coming off of a game win here. My apologies oh. completely on that. And there uh, goes the, the server. Yeah, the server going down, that one's not on me, though. Play game two. Orange took game one. If they win this, we will end block one. But we'll wait and see if Blue can make a comeback. All we've seen so far are sweeps. We haven't gone to a game three yet. Now Pergo. We'll boom that to the other side. And finally getting your main man Hangry back into the lobby so he can get to watch in here. Big shout outs to him. Killed as your pal Mal, not able to get another touch on it. Baja, send it off the back wall. Dry able to get enough of that. Dry making a good touch off that as well. He's going to be using, with no boost, he's going to keep trying to be useful down this field here, just hopping at the ball, trying to advance it further and further and closer to the net. Pergo with a good touch, pass over to S-Hawk. That'll go up towards the ceiling as Pergo, not able to get it, neither is Dry, Jade Cube though. To take it in Baja. Good stop by your pal Mal, very tight, not sure if that would have been able to make it in. A little bit more bunching up here coming from the blue side. Maybe that time off, uh, maybe kind of put a damper on the gameplay here. Within these last few games, I haven't been seeing as much of that kind of clumping that you want to avoid in this game. Dry not necessarily having the boost for go to be going for any kind of ceiling shot or ceiling pass there. And now Pergo making a clear, but easily sending it right in the direction of Dry. Eslock taking a shot, very slow and just a little bit wide. Your pal Mel not able to do much with it. Now Baja going to try to take a shot. Looking for a double tap, and it's going to drop down and... Just floating so dangerously right above the net. No one capitalizing on that. And Orange just barely holding on, preventing all the goals that they can. And dry with a very quick zoom on in there to be getting that clear. JQ... Looking for a flip reset, almost gets it right past Baja. Dry passed out to J Cube. Up now for your pal Mal, and he stomps it down and into the net, and Orange goes up first. J Cube knew he was right behind there and recognized that he was that your pal Mal was just waiting for that ball to be handed to him on a silver platter. on the kickoff as Baja tries to immediately go after that. Pergo going to take his time. Lofting it up, but Dry winning that 50 by a mile. It's going to be J-Cubed rushing in on the ball here. 
Your pal Mal looking to do some work here. He's going to be keeping it mid and JQ a little bit of a bad takeoff, but it did look like he was going to be continuing to try passing that mid. Virgo now. Get it up and over one. Baja. Over to JQ now. S Hawk all the way down into the corner. Looking for another touch himself, but he's beaten by your pal Mal. The Virgo will take a shot. Dry able to knock that out of the way. Over towards JQ. JQ getting a good second touch there. It's going to be throwing off the blue defenders for a little bit. Your pal Mal looking to sneak it in right in front of. Who, who was that in that? I'm trying to. It's not Baja. So it must have been Pergo in that that he sneaks it right out of the reach. On top of the goal, maybe looking for a squishy save or something there. That'll be up. Your pal Mal taking his time. Flicks it up. Big wide as JQ. Yeah, JQ pre jumping for that. Didn't necessarily need to. Could have converted oh. that. Now dry with an absolutely nasty dunk. Your pal Mal dropping the no way there. Ergo doesn't get the save he wants. He only pops it up. Tries to save himself. Baja's the one that gets the touch, but it's just right into dry. And orange goes up 3 0. Maybe they can break the record of a four goal lead or four goal lead here. But I'm sure everyone on blue is going to be wanting to prevent that as much as possible. Oh, pass down. Baja gets in the way of that. Shot wide dry. Not able to get it. Pergo will kick it out. J Cube, he's gonna be looking to follow on this and dry. Kind of predicting that uh, bounce, but accidentally hopping right on over the ball there. I'll go into the corner. Your pal Mel will kick that out towards mid. Not able to, but J Cube, wait for it. Avoids the bump. Pinches it past one. Now he's got one to beat. Stop. But now a shot will come out from your pal Mel. Your pal Mel picking up a hat trick this game. The first one we've seen from any of these players come on out here. And getting the demo right on that shot. That's just a little. I mean. I want to call it disrespectful, but it's not. It's just kind of, you know, showboaty. Now to go towards an open net and a kickoff goal from Orange. Everything going their way. Man, that guy had the perfect kickoff for that, too. It almost looked like he was trying to do the musty speed flip kickoff. Not, not absolutely sure if that's what he did. But whatever it was, it was good enough to win them the kickoff there. Now Pergo. Returns S Hawk, but he goes right by it. Your pal Mal does as well, but JQ finally gets another touch on it. Actually, now he has S Hawk to beat, but he's able to stop that. Almost an amazing play from JQ. Now with a touch off the ceiling here, Blue had to go up a little bit quicker. It's going to be your pal Mal passing off the backboard. Dry, unable to get there. JQ off the wall. He's going to dribble this. Maybe look for a reset. The your pal Mal. Go for another touch, but he's stopped by Pergo. JQ passing it out real high. It's too close to the wall for anyone to put a redirect on there. And now, looking like Pergo kind of mind tr mind game dry there as he just goes right over the ball. Demo comes demo. out on the back line. Dry yeah. gets bumped. Now Pergo just bumps right into your pal Mal. JQ will take this. Yeah, get it over Blue's one. Gotta get a goal every three seconds here <laughs> now if they want to come back from this. Defense doesn't matter for them anymore. They just want to build up momentum for their future games with new teammates. Orange will take game two in a dominating fashion to take this series. Yeah, by far the most definitive game that we have seen here all day. Still keeping the ball up, but with that last touch, it's going to be killed, and we are going to move on to uh, onto block two now.
screen goes away, you can see 17 shots from Orange. I only just noticed that somehow. Yeah, the whole time thinking that, I, I was just paying attention to how many goals that Mal had put in there. And I was kind of thinking that a lot of his goals were results of assists. And I mean, you do see that with JQ having three assists on five of the goals that were scored there. A majority of them definitely going to Mal. But I mean, he was definitely, he was definitely the striker of that whole series. I mean, those nine shots, incredible. The next highest we had in any of these games was seven shots on that. going to be interesting to see the team shuffle on up here I, I know earlier in this evening I was saying that none of these games have really been definitive and I'm eating my own words on that now after seeing that last game you know with these new teams potentially we could be seeing that a lot more or we could actually start seeing some overtimes maybe some game threes that would be really interesting to, um, to be seeing here in tryouts especially in the overtime uh, in the overtime matches because that's when the pressure is really really on right we're waiting on two players and I am noticing when I'm looking at the rosters that these two players will be new will be joined by Petro and ML they'll be on opposite teams but two new players are entering the tryouts now Just as you say that, Pietro joining in on the match. I'm just waiting for the last man. We'll hop into this match, and as you can see, teams changed up a little bit to Sonic Boom, Pergo, and ML on a team. And Dry, your pal Mel, and Pietro joining on Orange. Your pal Mel will go for that Pietro trying to come in. Not able to, and ML will take that up. Pietro coming on in quick, but Dry, he's going to be looking for the solo plays here. Looking for a block off the ceiling, unable to get it. Already off the bat, it's already feeling like this is a lot quicker pace to the game. Right, ML trying to come in for a shot, not able to get one. Sonic Boom will come in with a boomer, but your pal Mel is able to stop that. Yeah, that will the... go down for Sonic Boom, but it's off. Definitely a bullet right there. Now Pietro, he's going to be keeping it out into the corner. Unable to get the little bit of a flick on there, but Dry sending it high to Sonic Boom, beating Mel to the ball there, and ML not reading the whiff. Dry, he's going to be clearing it out to the sidewall, looking for anything he can do. Going to be looking for the shot, but Sonic Boom back in action. That'll be cleared down, and Pietro will kick that mid whiff by Mel. Now Pergo is going to be locking that up. High. Dry just waiting on the backboard, reading that play three seconds before it even happens. ML looking for bumps on the back line. Blue is not able to take a shot in time, and Pietro will clear that down. Blue's got to race back for this. ML, he reads that the pass is going to be out left, but doesn't probably see Dry there. And it's just going to be another clear, another conversion onto the offense, but to Sonic Boom coming out with a demo. Great mind play, and then... Oh, Ergo with a perfect pass out to Sonic Boom, just barely hitting the post on that one. Out to Sonic Boom off the wall, gets it by one, tries to push it past the other two. Now a shot from Pergo. If it's on target, it's in, and it'll roll off the post and in the net for Pergo. I had zero faith that that was going in right after the initial touch. I thought, yep, that is just so wide, but it, it was just 
plays so excellently that not only does it hit the post, it hits the crossbar too, and then eventually goes into the goal. ML taking a good challenge. Keeping it in again now. Dry, but again, ML doing everything he can to keep the pressure on, but Pietro will finally clear it away. To Sonic Boom, gonna try to back pass it. ML recognizing that Mal is going to have him beat there, smartly pulling on off of that. Now to Sonic Boom, he's gonna have to race dry here, and Pietro getting bumped off of his attack here. It's gonna leave room for Mal and ML to be battling this one out. And an excellent pass down to Dry, just completely dunking Sonic Boom here. Just too, too low on that, maybe used his flip too soon. Couldn't get back up to it. Now at midfield, Dry will take that up the wall, it flies right by it, so Pergo try to get it out now into the corner again ml coming up on it we'll go out towards the other side door pal mal up maybe looking to pass it to dry dry takes a shot over or under or i can't talk <laughs> but either way pietro will knock that into the goal i i was just that whole time i was so impressed seeing mal be able to pull off of that pass there he noticed that dry was up mal was looking for a pass out and he had just milliseconds to react to prevent himself from getting that second touch taking it away from dry and just because of that they were able to stay on the attack leading to their second goal of the game a sonic boom over commits if dry can get a powerful touch it can go into the net and he gets it in and insurance now for orange I'm starting to wonder if Dry and Mal here play twos together because they have had incredible chemistry throughout this whole game. Sonic Boom. I'm gonna take that off the wall. Sent to the other side by your pal Mel Pergo coming up on it. Let's go by him, but it only turns into a pass to Mal, but ML. Sonic Boom off the wall goes for another touch himself is able to get it to ML pass high and oh. wide unfortunately though Ergo trying to keep it in but Pietro will send it out ML unable to follow this but Pergo he's going to be racing there Mal a leaping save to get his third save of the game here Mal definitely looked like he's it definitely looks like he's been warming up since the start of uh of tryouts here he's definitely stepping up to the plate in my eyes dry tries to flick it past ml he's not able to though and your pal mal has to race back for it. gonna be challenged by ml it's out in front nobody's there in time works out for a back pass though ml no. he's gonna be racing to it passing it out mid but mal Kind of double committing with Dry there. Ooh. It's going to put him in an awkward position where Pergo is able to snipe the top left corner there. Now we have just a one goal game with 39 seconds left. All three meant for blue commit. If Dry can get this out in time, they may have a goal on their hands. ML comes in with perfect redirect to knock that out of the way. Yeah, Sonic ML. Boom with it. Looking for a dribble. Is not able to get it past Dry. I gotta say, ML has had an incredible amount of speed throughout this game. And with all of the speed that he's had, he's been able to keep his boost at a respectable level. He's been able to cut down on a lot of whiffs that we had been seeing earlier in today coming out from other people. Last 10 seconds now. <laughs> Just as I say that, it's a little bit of a misread off the back wall there. Stays up though. Blue still has a chance if Pergo can keep it up, and he does. Sonic Boom trying to come up after that actually keeps it up off the wall. Perk everyone just trying to keep it up i don't know if orange is trying to kill it but that's eventually what they're going to be doing here taking game one in the series all 
All right, we are back and live now, back on the mics and everything. Going into game two here, Pergo, he's going to be leaping up in the air real quick. ML, he's going to be trying to get it past Mal. Is anyone going to be there to clean up the backboard? Sonic Boom, unable to necessarily put it where he wants it, but Pergo trying to sneak it into the far post there. Both men fly right by that, but Dry is able to kill it down. Now Pergo will sit and wait for it, challenged by Pietro. Mal not Mal. necessarily oh. able to take his time getting it up the wall there as it kind of rolls on out. But Dry, he's going to be looking for a really difficult angle with the takeoff that he had there. Mal lofting it high. It's going to be popping out. Dry! Nearly getting the goal there. Just blocked by Pergo. Pietro takes a good challenge. Off the corner, Pergo misses it, but luckily Sonic Boom was there to clean that up. Now off the wall. He was looking for a double tap, but he pushes it wide. Unfortunately, not able to put that in. Pietro looking for a dribble. And it was a really clean one at that, but ML just really good on the defense here. We're going to try to take a shot, but he's beaten to it. Sonic Boom. Passing it back, keeping it in a safe spot for his teammate ML here in the corner. Now it's going to be Pergo lofting it high. It's just a really dangerous position for anyone to go yet. Not seeing the boost pickup too could have resulted in a few mistakes that might come out here. ML, maybe you're trying to use some mind games and have the boost to go up for that. Dry waiting on the wall doesn't get the touch, but Sonic Boom. Sonic Boom just pre-jumping a little bit too early there. Could have given himself maybe one more second to calculate that bounce. Potentially scoring the first goal of the game here. Not able to flick it as your pal Mal shuts that down, sends it all the way, passes it off the backboard. But now it's out for Dry, and Dry with an easy shot. Pergo doesn't get the clear he wants. And another goal from the duo, assisted by Mal here. But again, as you said, it, it did result from just a simple mistake on the blue side here. Just a little bit of a misconnection on the clear there. Sonic Boom. Pushes it past Dry, now taking it again. Maybe gonna look for another touch on it, but... Your pal Mal waiting for that. Now an open net for Pietro if he can get around on it, and he does bark Ooh. down and in. An absolutely insane read there. It was just... I, I know I had mentioned it before. When you throw your third man up there on offense, they need to put it in or this will happen 90% of the time. Orange now. With their security goal. Yeah, it goes out perfectly. For, he's going to be looking for a dribble. The Flick's not able to get past all the defenders here. Dry, taking the block on the wall. Pietro stuck up in the air, so Sonic Boom gonna knock that down. Yeah, it's turning around be, on it. it was definitely gonna be a long recovery from him. Blue team definitely could have taken advantage of that. They had themselves in a 3v2 situation for a few seconds there with that bump on the wall to Pietro. And an excellent pass coming out from Pietro to Mal, just not quick enough to sneak it on in there. Now it's up as dry. ML will clear that over towards the Sonic Boom, but it gets too far away from him, and Pietro is able to clear it back down. ML trying to turn around on it. Now dry. ML and your pal Mel meet. Be up for dry in the corner. Sonic Boom back out again, but Pietro is going to push it again, and Pergo gets dunked on by Pietro. Excellent dunk too here. And then still a lot of back and forth play here. It's gonna be a soft shot coming in from Pergo. Sonic Boom almost getting that insane read for the redirect right off the backboard. Pergo clearing it out mid here. Sonic Boom still just pre-jumping a little bit too much here. Now it's down in front. Pergo just lofting it up again, dry. Waiting for it patiently. A little bit of a double commit from Blue. Sonic Boom will send right. that as Pietro will try to take a shot. ML clearing it out to the side with Dry. 
Being quick in your pal Mal is an open net to jump on right there. Good pass over from dry. Nobody on blue back enough to be able to come up on that and clear it out. And instead, your pal Mal comes up and gets the third goal in for orange. We lofted way up as Pergo. Maybe going to look for it again. He's not able to with a little boost he has. ML. Oscar to Sonic late. Boom, but Pietro beats him to it. Yeah, and that was actually, as you could tell there, uh, with Dry being called off that, that's the kind of communication you want to see when someone's up. You, you do kind of want to hear it a little bit before the second person does jump at all. And Pergo getting it past two defenders. Dry just able to keep themselves from getting scored on for a fourth time here. It's going to be game two and the series to the orange team here. And now going to maybe try to avoid the shutout, but he's not able to. And orange will take the match. Well, all righty. We've had uh, some incredible games so far. Had five games of Rocket League. Well, five series. They've all been best of twos, I believe. I don't think we've had one best of three yet. What's going on? I feel like players players are struggling a little bit. Let's pick it up. Let's let's give me some some game threes. I definitely want to see some closer matches. I'm you know I'm seeing a lot of good Rocket League, a lot of good shots, and a lot of good saves. A lot of great positioning but i want to see some game three so let's do that. i'm not saying throw it you know if you're if you're on the losing side i'm not saying you know uh try and throw throw the game if you're on the winning side but you know what you guys might have seen there was a little little sliver of time you might have seen it where on this account i started getting some free stuff you know i, I got free paint job you guys see that I might actually quit out of this just to change my car up. Free paint job. You know what? If there's one thing gamers love, it's free in-game content. Another thing gamers love, free out-of-game content. And that's one of the reasons why we're here today. We're here to talk to you about something. It's in the bottom right, bottom corner over here, bottom left corner for you guys. It's called Velocilinks, okay? And if you're interested in free out-of-game content, like real-life content, I think you should take a look at Velocilinks. They've got their link down below, and you actually have a, a chance to win free equipment. Free keyboards, free mice, free headsets from them through the giveaway. No purchase necessary. Let me just take a moment and talk to you about them. I just wanted to give a shout out to them. They're one of Oakland University's neighbors. They're right here in Auburn Hills. They just created their own line of gaming peripherals. They're a fairly new company here. Velocilinks, they make keyboards, headsets, mice. They're pretty legit, okay? Now, this is for stuff who, for people who need to be good at gaming, okay? So if you're one of those casual players, don't even bother taking a look. Oh, maybe maybe you can just because it looks good, but... <laughs> well, if you want proof, don't even take my word for it. You know what I mean? I'm a co ex-collegiate player. You know, I, I played this other game called League of Legends. You know, who, who knows about that, okay? Don't take my word for it. They are the official peripheral sponsor for the Detroit Renegades professional esports team. Okay, so you don't have to take my word for it. You've got the professional team Renegades there to back you up. Velocilink sponsors a professional esports team. How amazing is that? Might want to check them out. You can visit them at Velocilinks.com. V-L-O-C-I-L-I-N-X.com. To learn more about what their products are and including where to get the gear it's it's in a lot of places now if you want to before you even go there you can just enter into the giveaway free chance to get their products now it's down below down below there's a vx button click that button it'll take you right to the giveaway now the best part about the giveaway is we're not talking about one keyboard one mouse one headset that's not good enough and you know what that's not enough for velocilinks they were very generous. They give us two full sets of equipment as well as three other prizes. We've got five prize packs to give out for you guys. So if you haven't entered into this giveaway, I don't know what you're doing. I don't what are you doing right now that's more important than getting free top of the line gaming gear? I don't know. But 
I'm happy to go ahead and pass it back off to our casters. We've got more Rocket League coming at you. We've got game six here, R6 coming at you. I'm excited. I hope you're excited. And hopefully we get some game threes. Come on now. Okay. All right. We'll get you back in. Thank you so much for uh, sticking around, for watching. I really appreciate it. And yeah, give give Velocilink some love over there. They need to see you on the site. And as we're going into game six, I, I've noticed that uh, we've got some people in here that are really looking out for Mal. I know one of, one of those guys is his cousin, and it's really great to see having your family here to cheer on your friends. And you be thankful you you are going to be seeing him play here in game six again. It's also looking like we're going to be having Baja, Dry, JQ, Pietro, and Raymond. So, definitely a lot more of the players that we saw from uh, from game five here. So the second game of block two should definitely be an interesting one. Definitely looks like it's going to be a close one as well. So we hop into here. It'll roll towards the corner. Jake keeps getting bumped right off that, but he was able to recover quick, get on the ball there, and now Baja looking to get up on the ball. Also, has Baja been in the Octane the whole time? I think he's been in the Fennec for some reason. Could I'm be not wrong. Quite sure, honestly. But Raymond trying to dribble it down. Be knocked out of the way in Pietro. Get a little bit of a flick out, another touch lofts it up as Dry comes in. Yeah, no, nah, he's been in the Octane the whole time. I'm... <laughs> My mind's just a little bit fuzzy, but it definitely looks like it's going to be the first time we are seeing Dry on the blue team. As well as uh -oh. everyone else on that team, Mal and Pietro. Dorpel Mal with a little bit of a redirect. Now he's going to come in for a shot. Actually, Dry will take that. Maybe That'll go up off the wall. A little bit more on who had the uh, on who had the attack there. Now, Raymond, he's going to be clearing it out deep into the left field. Baja trying to get it past Pietro, but unable to get the read on that. JQ trying to take this off the ceiling. Doesn't have his flip nor enough boost to get to the ball. Instead, going to drop down, leading Baja to be the man on defense. Now there, there were two double commits there from Orange, and it may have been what punished them. Both men up right there. And as Mal takes the shot, I, I, that that's still confusing to see because it definitely looked like J Cube had the save there. I don't know if he played it off one of his teammates who also went up for that. That's definitely something we'd have to check in the replays in a lot slower motion at a different camera angle. Very confusing goal there, but a goal nonetheless. Raymond, he's going to be going up for the pass here, not on net. Pietro, he's going to be playing it right back to Raymond. Now Baja. But that pushes it past Dry. El Pietro. Down into the corner, but Raymond will get a touch on that. Now up off the wall. Takes the dunk, looking for another touch, but J-Cube. Trying to clear it out. Yeah, knocking it right out of the way. Mal, he's going to be passing it midfield right to Dry. Mal taking another shot. Soft at net right in the middle to Dry. Not able to get the double tap. Pietro not able to get the V. J-Cube picking up his third save. A dry, but a stop by Raymond. This J Cube will go after that, pushes it off the wall, trying to look for another touch. Maybe he's not able to. His dry clears it out all the way down. The bump trying to come out on Orange doesn't quite work. A your pal Mal, that's just lofted up. Baja will take a soft shot. Pietro will shoot it straight up, maybe looking for another touch. Raymond's gonna have that beat by a mile. Possibly a mistouch here from Baja as a back pass, but it seems to be working out for the most part. Your pal Mal putting it high and wide. Baja, he's going to be trying to get it past the last man, Pietro, unable to do so. Instead, sends it right into the J Cube's hands. Another shot just wide. Pietro. Try to knock that up the wall, but J Cube going to try to go for a dribble, but it's stopped by Dry. Now, two men up. Baja getting called off that early. Definitely like seeing that communication come on out there. Raymond. Try not able to get it by Raymond. A J Cube will. 
sometimes it's hard to know when one person's gonna start and one person's gonna stop. It's a lot easier when we're casting in person. Right. Now Pietro will knock that into the corner. For your pal Mal, but he just kind of flips out of the way of it. Dry will turn around on it. Go up, uh, but he's beaten by J-Cubed. Also looked like a lot of people on Orange were committing to that push, not expecting them to get cut off here. Your pal Mal unable to get the double tap. It's going to be sent out for Dry to try to keep it inside the offensive zone here. Raymond playing it high. J-Cubed definitely needing to bail him out there. Now it's Raymond Baja trying to come in to take another shot. Not able to. J-Cubed. Take this, go for another dribble, maybe a pinch down, but he's not able to. Team Bump comes out on blue. He had Dry on the left side of field, definitely should have been looking for that pass out there. Solo play was not going to be able to get past those three defenders. Now JQ will fly right by that, two orange men miss, and now blue will get an opportunity. The man misses, now your pal Mal just landed awkwardly, was not able to get to that. J-Cube with a catch here, dribbling a flick, trying to pass it out to Baja, but he's beat by two of the defenders. Now Raymond passing it out to J-Cube, blocked by Pietro. They need to get a score here, or it's going to be one of the few games where we've had only a one-goal lead, well, not one-goal lead, but a 1-0 game. And with that, it is going to be game one over to the blue team, your pal Mal, Pietro, and Dry. surprising it was only 1-0 if you look at the shots 10 shots coming out from blue and only two on orange i mean it's just evenly matched by all of the saves a whole 10 saves coming on out to block out those 10 shots so somehow somehow one of those uh that goal must not have been counted as a shot or something interesting Again, <sighs> the server will go down, unfortunately. You know, so we were told this was going to take four hours, and with every game, you know, only being a 2-0, no game threes, it, it was definitely going to end before the four-hour mark, but with how many times servers have gone down for maintenance, I, I think we really could stretch out this night and take a lot more time with it. Thankfully, we were able to get everybody back in here. A oh, lickety split. And are we going to see a game three here, or is it going to be another one for blue to take a sweep? JQ up high and early. He's going to be trying to pass it to oh. Raymond and actually pulling off a completely nuts play here. Gets another touch, and Raymond coming up dunks it off Pietro. Actually, I didn't notice that in real time but an yes. insane touch from raymond pietro dropping that okay as he just got absolutely bodied by that now baja gonna look for a touch off the wall get cubed now he'll put it in the net looking for another touch to pass it out not able to in your pal mel cleared that out uh -huh. now it's a pass to dry we'll take a shot top right corner bar down and in and right away we are tied yeah, these guys are finally now starting to play like AQ, where they're scoring very early in the games here. Just like that, we're basically at the start of the game. Raymond, gonna go up for it, gets another touch, top. Not able to, actually. Yeah, Dry Smart putting the ball down low there as he saw that Raymond was coming in in a great position to just dunk another man for his second goal. Baja, it's going to loft really awkwardly here. J JQ just a little bit too antsy on that shot here. Still hits it when it was by the crossbar. Now Pietro. Can't turn around on that. He's got to go back for boost. So now Raymond 
redirected but Pietro dry just got to go straight up but another dunk from Raymond but that one unfortunately does not go in after hitting the crossbar yeah, it's starting to seem like Raymond kind of deserves the uh the GC in a in a hoops reward because he really is acting like a dunk master out here Pietro looking for another touch may have gotten it but now it's going to be cleared out but dry Keeping pressure on, Baja slams it down. Get her over to Maul. Now again. Off and dry, we'll look for another touch. It's out in front, but nobody there. Now Raymond going to take yeah, it down past the J-Cube, but Pietro will race in in time. I, I'm not sure if Raymond just didn't have the boost there to maintain a dribble. He he saw that a whole field in front of him with no defenders. He could have had his teammates calling out, like, you've got time, you've got time, it's open. Instead, just kind of goes for a little bit of a flick. It just really taps off his car. Nonetheless, we're going to be staying in here in a lot of a back-and-forth game. A demo coming out on Raymond now. Baja off the wall. J Cube looking for another touch to be able to pass it. Not able to. Pietro. Try. Big shot. It's going to be killed in the middle by Baja. Now he's looking for an air dribble here. Calls off it as J Cube is up. Unable to get the catch. That'll be sent down as Dry. Going to go after it, but he's beaten by Raymond. It's sent all the way to the other corner. Going up for it early as Raymond. But he misses the touch. That's just a lot of boost to use to just be a few inches off from the ball. Pietro packing it high. Dry. Looking to maneuver this further downfield. Pietro off the wall. Maybe looking to pass it. He's able to get it off. It's slowly bouncing up. And Raymond actually gets a good touch on that just to keep it up. And get it away from the goal. And a big bounce off the backboard. Your pal Mal is going to have to... Really maneuver around the ball if he wanted to get a shot or a pass off there. Now Dry gets bumped. I'm not sure if that was his teammate or the opponent, but unfortunately wasn't able to go for a double tap. Yeah, he was in a great position for that double tap as well. Double commit from Blue. Now Baja with a chance down for Raymond. Redirecting and it just slams straight down. Now all the way down, and Raymond is not able to get up to that, and Dry will put Blue ahead. And if Blue team takes it here, they already took game one. It's just going to be another one in the book of a 2-0 series. Up off the sidewall, Baja gets a little bit of a touch. Now it's over to J-Cubed. Yeah, just jumping a little bit too early to get that big boomer off the wall. Still staying on the offensive side, though, but Pietro, he's got the good read on the wall. Now Raymond playing it out to the corner. No one there on Orange to continue on the clear here. JQ pushes it past one, but he misses that shot. Now a shot comes out center of the net. Easy for Pietro and insurance now with only a minute left. That's just a good read. And just imagine if Pietro and Mal had pinched that on in there. From the red squad Could have easily been like an 80 mile per hour goal. Try. We'll only push that towards Raymond going for a dribble. Mal going up. It's going to go towards the other wall. Yeah, lots of aerial 50s here. Kind of seems like everyone's getting... A little bit more on pace, you know, not absolutely getting beat to these balls. They're in the correct position to be taking a 50. Awkward ball here, but Baja coming in clutch with that save. J Cube taking a shot. Top right corner pushes it past the defense. Yeah. And Orange is still in this. Well, I think this is the first time anyone's dropped a nice shot. Because, yeah, that, that little ground shot passed to himself. It did leave it to be just absolutely too powerful to get past him. Now 26 seconds left for Orange to try to make a comeback and send this to OT. Raymond will go up for that, misses the touch and dry. Out towards the corner, will pick up the boost and he's able to clear it out. Pietro looking for a redirect. Oh! oh. Unfortunate. Dry just a little bit too hard. J-Cube I, I don't I think he was 
reading that there was going to be a second touch coming on from Pietro. Just a little bit of hesitation going off for that save did not give him enough momentum to pick that up. Right, now 10 seconds left. Doesn't look like it's going to happen for Orange. They can't get the ball, just bumping Pietro out of the way. And with that, it's going to be game two and the series to Pietro, Mal, and Dry. GG's indeed. And, and while we are in the next match, we're just now having our players join in. We're going to be seeing, uh, it looks like s Hawk or is it Raz who's subbing in? I know uh -huh. we just saw Pietro playing, it seemed like. So perhaps it could be Pietro subbing in. But anyways, we are going to be having Raz, S-Hawk, and Pietro joining in on the blue team. Continuing to see Baja, Raymond, and J-Cube now. Given we just saw that Pietro is subbing in now. So Baja off the wall to go over towards S-Hawk. J-Cube will cut that off though. He'll take that off the wall. Not going to be able to get a second touch on it, so Pietro... Knock that away from the corner in a demo play, but Ra is able to come in in time and save that. Such, such a risky play there. Thankfully, thankfully Ra's being back for there. Now Baja continuing to advance up on this, gets the boost steal. And it's going to leave Raymond with an opportunity to pass it mid, but no one is there. Instead, it's going to be Jacob waiting back on the defense. Doesn't really need to be there as the post does the job for him. Raymond does get another touch to keep it away, but now Ra's... Off the wall for J-Cubed. Raymond will get a touch to send that downfield. Now a redirect coming up from Pietro. Doesn't get the touch on it, but it's still up and J-Cubed. Will knock that it, out of the way. It, it would have been sent high had he connected on the redirect. But you can always hope that some the third man would have been back there to clear it up off the backboard. Because that would for sure be an unexpected touch to see. Definitely throwing him off. Now a double commit from blue, but it works out for a pinch. Raymond will send that all the way to the other side. It's going to be Baja racing Raz. He's looking for a shot on net, or more so, pass off the backboard. And is this going to be an open net? No, it's a 50-50, a 1v1 versus Pietro and Raymond here. And it's going to be Raymond coming out with the win there. Now Baja to j cubed off the wall coming down. Pietro, though, will clear that out over towards Raymond. Not able to get a dunk on it. Raz yeah, will catch take, it. Taking his time there. Almost mind gaming, getting the dribble around Raymond. And now getting fancy as he goes up for this aerial. Kind of connecting it right as he hits the ground. But he's going to be zero boost here. Stealing it right out from Baja's nose. He's now left zero on defense here. Still pulls out a save. j -Cube. Send that all the way down for Pietro. Loses control. Now j -Cube out in front. s Hawk. It's a good touch. Kill the pressure, but now Raymond trying to get around on that and take a shot. Not able to. Baja up. Raz, though, will take that and dribble it out. JQ would only extends it down further for him. Raz, he's going to be looking for a pass out. Pietro on the pre jump, almost connecting on it. Now oh, that's an insane <laughs> angle from Raymond. Yeah, Raymond definitely stepping up in these past few games here. Just takes his time out. And uh, there was a little bit of talk before the game. I don't know if you saw it uh, saw it on the screen. Oh, yeah. They were uh, they were making kind of like a deal here. Orin's saying, hey, if we get one demo on Raz, that's going to be a dub for us. Fortunately, it was someone else who picked up the uh, demo. Raz positions himself well for that. Raymond's got to dribble all the way back into his own corner and pick up the boost. Raymond He'll send that down now. Yeah, deep downfield, but right into the hands of Pietro. Unable to get it past Baja in the air. But Raz, he's going to be looking for another pass out to himself. J-Cube just sweeping that one away. Oh, Raymond. Off the wall for J-Cube. Not able to get a touch. Not able to get it by Raz. He stops it, but Baja now coming in. I mean, that whiff could have almost been considered a fake there. as It, it was just... You know, just a few more steps away, like a few more mental steps away from resulting in a goal. Essok flies right by that, but Raz 
They would have lofted it up for Steam to get back on defense, but they're not coming in. All three commit out in front of the goal of Pietro. Yeah, everyone trying to scramble to push that away from the center of their net. You know, just put it in the corner where it's going to be difficult angles for, uh, for Orange to be scoring on here. J-Cube. Taurus Pietro. Tried to take it around town, but Blue Team reading that play very well now. Raz waits for it, no boost, has to do what he can, is able to keep it up. It's another very, touch himself. Yeah, very good 50 there, but... Yeah, coming down from the corner, he, he did have the time to grab that 100 boost, and that would have been able to, you know, lead him to win that second 50 he needed there. And just because of that, I think that's going to result in, like, even though it happened just a few seconds ago, I'm definitely going to put it on that resulting on uh, the orange team to keep up the offense here take the second goal get their insurance 30 seconds left browse looking for a redirect and he's gonna knock it into the net great off of kickoff being able to go up and hit that yeah just like that an excellent landing excellent reaction time they got their foot in the door they could easily take this to overtime now if they're able to pull that off once again pietro now has the opportunity off of kickoff just has to beat raymond flicks it up and raymond able to make the stop 20 seconds left blue still has an opportunity they still have offense raymond misses the touch now a demo comes out those flicks in the octane, man, I mean, they're very hard to master. Like, if you play in the Dominus or any of the other hitboxes, you're able to pull off, like, very powerful flicks without even putting much consideration into it. But mastering that on the octane, very hard, and in doing so, it's going to lead to Orange Team taking game one here. Very closely contested game, even though Blue didn't score until the last 30 seconds, it was just close the entire way through. Same amount of shots coming out on both teams, and same amount of saves as well. Yeah. Very evenly matched game. <laughs> I, I've, I'm going to hold my fingers crossed for the rest of the night until we finally see a game three here, but I don't want to see anyone throw to get it. I mean, I still want to see an even fair match here. Come on, we really need a game <laughs> three out here. We hop into game two. Perhaps we can see another kickoff goal here. It's going to be a dangerous position. As and we Jake, will. <laughs> as J-Cube just went a little bit too early for that block here. I mean, is that is that the caster's curse that I was just able to call it within the first three seconds of play? So right away, Blue with a kickoff goal. Yeah, very, very calculated one at that, but it does come down on the shoulders of jq in a little bit of a wrong-footed position now raymond up for that he'll knock it off the wall sock doesn't get to it jq had an opportunity to had a shot wasn't able to fully take advantage of it raymond will turn around the hr oh. knock it towards mid he was quick to respond on that too definitely angled his car for a really good dodge into it now Pietro. Pietro will knock it into the corner pass out but Raz looks like he backflipped on that. Wasn't able to take the shot. Yeah, really fast and really risky. It's going to be J-Cube. He's going to be looking for a backwards 45-degree flick. Had he scored that, definitely could have been the flashiest goal we have seen here all night. I mean, except for that one double tap. That was, like, way in the beginning. Like, if you guys did not clip that shot, oh, you missed out. Uh, up off the wall, kicks it to J-Cube, but it's cut off by Raz. Now Raymond, as by last, Raymond. Yeah, as the last man back, too, he definitely played it well. A pass out to Baja. It's going to be snuff pass, too. Tying up the game here. Raymond just gets enough of it. Kick to Baja, slams it down. Yeah, everyone. Yeah, they were coming in way too hot for that, but I mean... 
You, you would expect that this level of play to the ball for the ball to be traveling a lot faster at all times on the map, but that soft pass out was just enough to throw them off their game. A J cubed gets it by Raz. Essok will come up on it. Doesn't really get a good touch on it. J cubed though, oh, good no. pass back. But Baja just creeping up a little bit too far on that. Nonetheless, they're staying on the offensive half. Uh, offensive half here. Now a pass out mid. A ceiling shot, actually. Wide, though. Baja goes right by it, and Pietro is able to send it down. But Raymond, enough of a touch to get into the corner. J cubed will go up for it. Redirect coming out from Raymond. It's a little bit wide, but a pass to Baja, oh, but he puts it off the no! post. Double posted at that. That would have definitely been the lead for them there. Now it's going to be Raz playing it down to an empty field. He's going to drop it mid, but Pietro's on the left side of the field. J Cube will come up after it. Two men to beat. Gets it by Skyhawk. But Raz, good stop. Doesn't get another touch, though. Pietro will. And Raz will take that off the wall. Now a shot coming out. Not able to get there in time as J Cube beats him. And I just want to take some time here to say I really respect J-Cube and Raymond because they are rocking two of my favorite wheels out there, the Tunicas and the Vortex. I never see enough people rocking those. Pietro turning around on it. Dunks J-Cube, looks for another touch, isn't able to get one. Raymond It's a soft one at that, but... Still, Baja's uh -huh. gonna be beat on, or getting the beat on that, and now he's passing it off the backboard. Pietro has to do something here. J Cube also trying to do something, sending that mid as much as he can. And oh. a huge dunk from Baja. Coming out against S Hawk. Perfectly angles his car into the goal. Orange up two to one, looking to take this series. Now it's gonna be a race back. Brings back between uh, Raz and J Cube. Raz getting the better of him though, just a better position. Passing out to Pietro. Pietro, little bit of a whiff there. S Hawk has to turn back around. Raymond, he's gonna back pass it a little bit too far. Actually, no. J Cube's able to get it. Now pass to Baja. Baja's gonna be looking to stay on that, potentially getting it to J Cube. But as they're cut off here, Raymond's gonna want to get a touch pass. S Hawk unable to do so, and now a shot! It's just gonna be missed on the save from Raz, leading up to their third goal here. Orange starting to find more momentum up by two. Go off Kick the wall, S Hawk. Yeah, it could go in favor for J Cube here. Unable to get the reset, didn't have enough boost to catch up on it, but definitely an ideal play for him to look for. No one turning on that ball, surprisingly. It's just going to be open for Raymond to continue to throw it downfield. Baja will take a shot. Raz will come in, though. Easy stop for him at that one, too. And now Jakey with a cut. Can he get it cut past Pietro? A fake! Almost getting it past the third man. Would have been an amazing solo play there. Too far for Raz. S Hawk has to turn all the way around on this. Baja beats him to it. Now Raz uses the back of his car to stop it. It's gonna be Raven looking for a shot. Stopped by Raz again here. Shot taken. Pietro a little bit wide, but another pass comes out, but not able to take the shot. 20 seconds left. Blue. They're definitely in the hot seat now as another shot is coming on in. Pietro. Barely getting that save, almost own going it here. If they don't score right now, it is most likely going to be game two to Orange Team. And they're just going to get it past everybody in open net. Third goal there, four seconds left. I'm calling it. It is the series to Orange Team here. Still going to play it out well, though. Still going to play it out respectably. It'll be lofted up and Baja will not get a touch. It will hit the ground and Orange takes the game and the series. 
and I think with that, I think we are moving on to the final series of the day, then. Is that correct? Uh, no, I believe we have one more. Okay. Well, I'm... I know we're going to be seeing uh, Roz, Pietro, and s -Hawk playing again. I'd, I'd definitely like to see MJ, or ML, come back in uh, for this uh, this next series here. We haven't got to see too much of him playing, but as we saw, he was a very fast player. I heard he was making great call-outs in the comms, so he's definitely another person to be looking out for here. Looks like we have all the players in here as we get started with our final match of the day. Oh, is this the final one for sure? I believe so. As we get going, haven't seen a game three yet. We'd love to see one, but only the last match to figure out whether we will or not, or whether we'll have to wait and see for tomorrow. Yeah. I, I was just going to say that, too. If we don't get it today, we'll probably get it tomorrow. Ross, he's going to be left with an almost open net here, trying to mind game ML, but ML being very vigilant on defense here. Virgo will kick that into the corner. Raz getting enough of a touch to kick it mid for J-Cubed. He's going to flick it, but it's too soft, and ML will easily clear that out. S-Hawk will loft it up, and J-Cubed. Yep. Thankfully, back far enough as Roz was not going to be ready for that. And it's going to be surprising to see uh, J-Cube and Roz here together. It's going to be interesting to see if they can pull off uh, some really good infield passing here. ML will get beaten. They'll go down towards the other corner, but Fergo will stop that. It's going to be That's awesome. Playing it out for J-Cube. J-Cube, he's going to be looking for a backboard pass to Roz, and Roz is going to capitalize on it. Easy as that. I mean, those those are the plays. When you can see them, when you can predict them coming like that, exactly like I was talking about. Back 
on the kickoff goes over and Pergo beats that. JQ will easily race in, clean that up, get another touch on it, send all the way down. Pergo racing in. Ross able to make the save. Ooh, and S Hawk could have got the double tap there. And, and when he was going up for that initial touch, clearing from the back line, he had a lot of options there. Really surprising to see uh, him go just straight for the net. He had both of his teammates on the right and left, but it doesn't Ross. matter. Roz. He's a great redirect. Yeah, he's just in the perfect position to take that pass. J-Cube sees him on the left side of the field. He knows he's got everyone beat up there, and he's just able to put it right in the dead center of the net. Roz waiting for this. It pinches down. MLs everybody up for blue, and that'll go wide. Now they all have to race back. Yeah, that triple commit should have been very dangerous for them, but surprisingly it's not. As for Go, he's going to stay on the offense here looking for the push. It's going to be ML trying to go up, but he's beat by s -Hawk. Sonic Boom just taking it out of the hands of Roz there. Now Roz going to take a shot. Gets bumped out of the way, and ML going to flick it by one, but JQ will be there. Yeah, he was looking for the boost steal instead of the turn. That could have easily been the third goal for them. Roz passing it out mid. Oh, s -Hawk not able to jump on that. Sonic Boom will beat it down. JQ puts it off the wall. Roz goes right by it. Ergo will flick it into the corner. Going to go after it himself, pass it up, but JQ will be there. Roz, now he's going to be having a one-on-one -on -one situation with Sonic Boom, but nonetheless... It's s Hawk coming in to save the day and pick up the third goal here. It's it's starting to look like like the end of block one as well. Like the last game in block one was a definitive win, and so far a three old lead, two minutes twenty left. It's it's looking definitive again, but still there's a lot of time and a lot of space for the blue team to work with here. s Hawk goes right by that and Sonic Boom with a chance. Not able to catch up to it though. J Cube will take it. Uses reset. It'll be just for ML and Fergo. Realizes he can't get to that. Fergo taking his time on the uh, on the dribble, but it's gonna result in him getting demoed. Should have played that a little bit more quickly. Uh, if he wanted to avoid that happening now, Pergo soft shot, easily blocked by Roz. It's lofted high, and Sonic Boom is looking for the double touch. It's left away by J-Cubed. Now let me push off, but Pergo not able to get to it. He's able to get it. Then now Roz. Almost mind games it past Sonic Boom here. Huge oh, mid for ML, but it goes right by him. Perfect opportunity, but a little bit too much sauce on that ball. It was real fast and oh just creeping on the goal line there, unable to pick up their first goal of the game. Sonic boom with a sonic boom of a shot. That was fast. I mean it looked fast. It could be because of the crossbar, but power yeah, yeah, it slowed down because of the crossbar, but a great turn, a powerful shot there. Brings the blue team within two minute left. They still have a chance now, especially if Sonic Boom can get to that, but he's not able to. Now, <laughs> maybe <laughs> triple pinch. Triple field. pinch. Triple pinch. Almost. Too high of a oh, pass. Sonic Sonic with a shot. Just like that, blue is back in it, only down by one. This could be the comeback we've wanted to see here. An excellent pass out. I originally saw, thought, like, no, that pass is way too high for ML to go up for. Didn't even know Sonic Boom was committed up on the field so, so much. It's such a risky play, but it works out. And everyone whipping on the kickoff here, it's not going to result in a goal, though. Raz, off the corner, ML will push it back into that. Now they actually tries to dunk S-Hawk. J-Cubed. Out towards mid, Roz into the corner. Sonic Boom, 30 seconds left. Shots wide. Stop now, JQ with a shot, and Sonic Boom! Or Pergo, I should say. With the amazing save. 
go, turning out that he's going to leave the ball to be all of ML's, but Raz cutting him off on the wall, and now J-Cube dropping it back. Raz, he doesn't have anyone behind him. He didn't have the catch for the dribble, so it's just going to be awkward, and with four seconds left, we're probably going to see overtime for the first time tonight. Sonic Boom has taken it upon himself to tie this up all three goals on I mean, four shots as well. Yeah, everything that we've seen here, if this man isn't MVP in this series, or in this game at least, in your eyes, then you've had your eyes closed. He has been popping off. And we have overtime for the first time today. We'll see how this one goes in a 0-0 series. Sonic Boom. Downfield, S-Hawk lofts it. I definitely think it off. whoever comes out here with the win, it's just going to be really motivational for them. And I think it's going to be a huge leg up going into game two. And we'll probably see another sweep. But I don't know. It's been such a close series. Raz lofts it for J-Cube. Sonic Boom going up for that. Now S-Hawk takes a shot, but Pergo... Perfect timing on it. ML with no boost. Has to do what he can. Can't do much. Sonic Boom backflips, but luckily for Blue, Pergo is there. ML just kicks that back into the corner. Yeah, this you corner roll play. one situation. It looks like they're going to honor it. Finally we are in a 2v2. In that. Yeah, I mean, I know a lot of Rocket League players out here are twos players, so it's definitely going to be interesting to see how this picks up. with a dribble and end it oh, just it wide. But he so takes it. No, no boost. Can't get to it. Pergo pushes it to the corner. <laughs> he was just getting absolutely bullied there. He was unable to do anything but that whole time. It looks like rule one is broken now, and we are back to 3v3. Sonic Sonic Boom. Boom. Oh my. All four goals on the blue team has been scored by him. An incredible comeback by blue, led by Sonic Boom all the way back from a 3-0 deficit. They tie it up with four seconds remaining and Sonic Boom ends it in OT. Absolutely. Uh, you know what? I'm actually going to save this replay for myself. <laughs> that was such a good game. Wow. Ready on up here for the second game of the last series tonight. Is it going to be as intense as we just saw? And even though I was saying Sonic Boom took it upon himself, he didn't really, if you see Pergo and ML both with two assists, doing their own part in the comeback that they made. Yeah, that is just some great work coming on out there. But, <laughs> unfortunately... Fifth or sixth time tonight, server going down for maintenance. Rocket League is just <laughs> all out of whack tonight. are loading into their teams game two now we just saw blue storm back from a 3-0 deficit to win it four to three in overtime yeah they're definitely definitely coming in hot here i'm pretty sure that meant four uncontested goals in a row see if they can pick up five now as we head in here and it could potentially be the last game of the night too S-Hawk will go around that as Sonic Boom launches it up. 
it's really high and awkward for Pergo to go for. Thankfully, he knows to dip on back, be the last man back. And J-Cube just taking it out of the hands of Sonic Boom now here. Sonic Can Boom he... racing up! He's almost able to get to it in time. Yeah, almost connecting on the pass there, but, you know, getting a demo almost just as good here. But that three-second time around the demo expired, and it's back to an even 3-3 game. Ergo with a good pass out. ML wasn't up enough for it. So it goes into the corner. Ergo with a pass out mid for Sonic. Boom! Puts it in the net, and all of the momentum is carrying for the blue team. Man, this guy is so fast, and he can read so well. Perfect positioning there. Sonic Boom picking up his fifth goal in a row. Ergo gets that by the defense. If ML can get to it, maybe he doesn't even need it. And he does actually catch up to it. Maybe stole a goal from his teammate. Ah, oh, yeah, that's... Uh, but... Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I... I don't know, it's questionable, like, it's either a steal or a secure, but I mean, hey, they're probably, you know, not sweating about it. I mean, two goals up first minute in, six uncontested goals so far, I mean, within the span of these two games, but still, just great work. Now, Raz with a shot, but he puts it wide, Essaw coming in is able to get the rebound, puts it into the right side of the net, down yeah. by one now. And it was that shot on post that kind of like threw everyone off. I mean, Sonic Boom, he was kind of recovering from the first attempt at the save, but being dead in the middle of the net, no momentum. You're going to have to pray that they shoot it right at you. Jake cubed. Take it up. Raz coming now. Able to get it by Pergo. Now he passes it out mid. But Pergo. With a good read, gets that out of the way. Sonic Boom just has to wait for it. Sonic Boom tries to get a flick over JQ. Pulling the trigger a little bit too soon on the flick, though. Roz will try to dribble it. Gets it by one, now he pushes it up for JQ. JQ looking to drop it mid, but uh, S-Hawk not really creeping off there. Neither was, uh, neither was Roz. Jacob takes a shot, puts it in the net. We are tied up. Just too strong of a shot for anyone to get up in time to save that. Like, I mean, look, he did basically, uh, nah, I was going to say he shot it right at Sonic Boom, but it was just too left of Sonic Boom. Sonic Boom able to get a touch on that. Jacob launches it up. Sock passing it to J, J cubed. That is a good pass. He's going to be able to get it past ML, but just a little bit too far across the net. Raz not able to do anything with that. It's going to be S Hawk looking to do some solo plays, unable to do so. And now Prego accidentally passing it back. ML bailing him out here. ML gets a by one, but S Hawk will be there. Now J cubed, maybe looking for a redirect. Does redirect it, but it goes off the back wall. And nobody there. For the pass. Sonic, Sonic boom. boom with no boost. Can't do much. Still kept on a lot of pressure. It's going to have to be Pergo to turn. Sonic Boom hopefully picked the 100 back up there, but it doesn't matter. J-Cube is just going to score here. Excellent flick and a pass from Mraz. That is some good chemistry there. Now Orange made a small comeback of their own. Have scored three unanswered. ML push that up, but Raz. Excellent touch, excellent recovery on the touch as well. Sadly, no teammates there to help him along the way. Sonic Boom will launch that up. Ergo will try to go after, but he misses. It's really low on boost here, potentially. It looked like he got the steal off the uh, orange corner. But, I mean, when they're staying on offense like that, you know, the timer is just going to run out. And they're going to pick up the boost like it wasn't even important to steal that. Ergo will flick it by Roz. Now he's got to beat S-Hawk. He's able to pass out, but J-Cubed in a perfect position. 
JQ. Oh, just barely getting away from him. Definitely looked like he was going for another catch there. Dribbles have been somewhat successful in these last few games here. Ah, uh, this isn't beat. Jake Kid will catch that. Try to get it by Sonic Boom. Doesn't work out for him, though. Sock turning around. Challenged by Sonic Boom. Now a chance. Gets too far away from Raz. Pergo will launch that up towards Sonic Boom. He'll get a touch. Goes straight up. Straight down. Now, ML, he was going to look for that. You know, 50 seconds left. If they don't bring it to a second overtime... We're probably going to be getting a game three here. The heat is on it. Definitely looks like the pace of play has picked up here. And now he's just going to be playing it to himself in the corner, getting it past Ross. s hawk in an awkward position, but he'll have to turn quick. Ross with a good hit into the corner. Goes after his own oh. pass off the post. Not able to get it, but still 25 seconds left. Blue needs a goal or we will see our first game three today. Sonic yeah. boom off the corner. Push 15, back. 15 seconds left, 10 seconds left now, and it looks like the orange team is not letting up at all. They just keep driving it down onto the orange half. This is looking like the last opportunity. A missed flick is going to lead to a wall play from Essok here. He's going to pass it out. Ross, can he pick up a fourth goal? No, it's killed. But we got game three. We finally get our game three that everybody has been waiting for. Definitely intense. Yeah. Orange, just unrelenting power here. It was opened up so easily in the first half of the game by Blue, but just something, just something for everyone on the Orange team. Everything, or something for J-Cube, Roz, and S-Hawk just changed. And they just became completely different players. They turned it around. I'm also curious to know if the audio problems are within for us from casting or if it's within the game sound. Mm, delay. Here we go. We hop right into it. Game three. First one of the night. We'll see who takes it. Both teams have had strong showings in both games. Yeah, everybody. Everybody out here uh, within this last series has been definitely playing strong. Everybody has been playing their part. And like Virgo maybe looking for a kickoff goal, but it'll be just wide. Can he get to in time? He can't. J-Cube is there. J-Cube winning that 50 definitely here, but I know he's going to be playing it out to the side. Raz with no boost is being a lot of help to his teammate, but it looked like s could have been bumped there. And now Sonic, Sonic Boom, boom oh. almost sneaking that in. ML will turn around on it, though, and keep the pressure on for Blue. Double commit from Orange. Raz has got to do what he can. Shot from Sonic Boom. Soft. Another double commit. Virgo takes a soft shot. J Cube there. And finally, they get it out. But Sonic yeah. Boom. Again. That was definitely a scramble. It, everyone looked so low on boost there. Nothing resulting from it. And now they have time to cool off. But I mean, Rocket League, it's such a fast paced game. Your games are only five minutes long. There is no time to really cool off here. just stays everyone on orange Sonic looking like they're retreating just giving blue too much space to work with but they're going to result it in a counter attack here s hawk playing it high no one there to sweep up on it sonic boom with a good flick downfield looking for another touch off the wall isn't able to get it and Roz clears it out it's going to be Roz to jq to Roz again but pergo is playing it into his own corner for sonic boom to take away you know, the row one situation. Oh 2v2 wow. once again. Raz looking for S Hawk off the post a little bit wide. ML will kick it to Pergo. Raz will take that. Look for another touch on it. He gets it down. 
Eslock is not there. Oh, and it looks like Pergo. Oh, I, I wonder if he was questioning, you know, trying to get that bump on them to break the rule one. Yeah, show the discipline, you know. If I had to say the people who break rule one here, not nah, cut from the team. You're not even mm -mm. tryouts over. Keep that rule one going. I don't oh, know, and it's broken by someone. Oh no, we're back to a three v three here. I mean, in any any competitive match, other than like let's say rank, but in especially like a college game, you're not really gonna keep a rule one especially in a tryout you want to have as much time as possible to show off your skills show off your chemistry with your teammates you don't really want to risk that roll one but also like you got to remember one of the whole main points of video games or any sport at all is to have fun and i don't think anyone ever really gets upset when they're in a rule one they they enjoy the whole meme of it right now raz Midfield, Pergo shuts that down, looking for another touch. He'll get it. Neither on, no one on orange gets the touch. Roz coming in is able to knock it out of the way. Pergo will take a shot just off the post. Not able to get the first goal of the game. Yeah, three minutes down already. We still have a 0 0 game. It's definitely getting closer. These teams are finding each other out, but JQ. Reading the little bit of a miss on the back wall here, opening the door for Orange to take the game. Minute 45 left, and we finally have our first goal. Pretty Ergo. neutral kickoff here. Good hesitation. Gonna try to get it by s -Hawk, but he couldn't get it on top of his Fennec to be able to flick. Sonic Boom looking for a catch. He's all he, uh, he's able to put it under S Hawk. And he's able to beat Raz to that, but it's gonna be JQ looking for a dribble flick here. Beat by Pergo. S Hawk coming out with the save now. Mel taking a challenge. It's pretty much neutral. But it works out for JQ because he's right there. Raz just goes straight for the demo. S Hawk now. It definitely worked. Ooh, almost worked in favor for them. And, and thankfully, that pinch, that double commit, resulted in pretty big of a clear here. Now, Ross, he's going to be passing it out mid. J Cube not up there to receive it. Instead, he's going to meet it on the wall. A little bit of a whiff. And now, S Hawk going for the shot. That one's high. Now, Pergo's taking it away here. Oh, a little bit of a team bomb coming in from Sonic Boom. Do not want to be seeing that. 37 seconds left. Blue. Down by only one, but now two as J Cube gets the insurance. Uh, we had seen Sonic just popping off earlier. He's going to need to work some magic to pull another overtime here, but it's definitely, definitely looking like it's Orange's game to take. Still a chance for Blue, but it needs to happen immediately. They can't let a shot like this come out. Go easily clearing that one away, but Roz, he's gonna be passing it out. A double commit here could result in an opening for Blue. Sonic Boom, he's gonna be looking for Pergo to pass it out, unable to connect off the ceiling and J Cube. Unable Ten to get seconds it. left. They need one right now, but it doesn't appear that it'll happen. They're stuck on their defensive half, and Orange will take game three in the series. Ross keeping it up, showing some respect. Can JQ pick up a third goal? Oh, Dunk just killed. But what a great series. Definitely one we wanted to see a game three in. GG's indeed. These were incredible tryouts throughout the entire night, and I'm so excited to see what these players are going to pull off tomorrow. Absolutely. We'll be back here at the same time tomorrow, 5 to 9 p.m. with more. What a series of games there. We had eight best of threes, although we only went to game three one time. The very last time, we only had one overtime match and one game three. What an exciting match that last one was. I think if we were taking a look at the player stats or their past performances in these tryouts, I, I didn't think that that game would go to game three, but that was that was really close and what a performance by some of the players you know you saw j cubed at the end clinch it and to sonic boom keeping a minute for that game one knocking him down i thought that that was a fantastic series there 
you know what all eight of those series were good and uh, i'm so glad that i got to be a part of it and put it together for you folks i'm so glad you're here joining me i just want to one more time thank you for being here all of this wouldn't be as grand without you here watching it with us and i hope that you watch it for the rest of the week with us tomorrow we have uh, rocket league day two we have another full eight series for you so don't miss out on those and then also in the fall we'll be competing uh, our rocket league team i think is going to be one of the best in the country so i'm very excited to see them play in the fall and i hope that you join us to watch those games as well we will have all of our competitive matches casted and streamed so it'll be very entertaining you won't want to miss it it's going to be very exciting i appreciate you all being here i'll say it once more and just in case you were wondering um some of the reasons why this might be possible you know a lot of people have asked me you know hey coach leone how, how can you put together a whole week of tryouts how can you put together two days of league of legends and two days of rocket league and two days of smash in a tryout and have it streamed and have it be such high quality well i'll tell you how we have some good friends over here at Velocilinks. They're a local company in uh, Auburn Hills, Detroit area, and they helped us out, helped us put on this event. They're our presenting sponsor for this entire week. And I'll tell you what, they have some amazing gaming gear, keyboards, headset, mice. I've had the chance to try them out myself, and I really do enjoy them. So I think you should go ahead and give them a look. If you haven't been to Velocilinks.com yet, uh, that would be a great place to start and if you are really interested why not just try out the product for free right why not try out these gaming uh, keyboards headset mice for free they look cool enough online but why not get it in your hands well i'll tell you what i'll give you a good chance to get them in your hands for free no purchase necessary down below we've got a, a little box and it says vx if you click on that for velocilinks you will be brought to the giveaway now in the giveaway all you have to do is just follow some stuff or like some stuff on social media it's very easy very intuitive and you know what happens you get a chance to win one of five fantastic prizes including two full sets of gaming gear how incredible is that i'm so excited that velocilinks was able to help us out in this way it really does make the event so much better so if you haven't already entered into the giveaway Make sure you do that. We'll be drawing prizes later this week. I appreciate you being here with me. I appreciate the casters for being here and making this event so special. They did a fantastic job, and they'll also be back for tomorrow. So thank you once more. I hope you have a great rest of your night tonight.